Hi everyone, my name is Ainsley. As a pet owner myself, we spend most of the time at home with our pets. Today, I'm going to share with you guys some tips and tricks on how to take indoor photos with the Sony A7C. Dogs and cats are always on the move. So shooting with 10 frames per second it actually gives me the flexibility to take multiple shots, capturing their expression and choose the best one afterwards. Okay, Yoda is now lying in a very comfortable position on the cushion. This is a very good position because there's light source from the window and I'm going to use the cushion here as the foreground as well as the background with the cushion. And we can also use household objects as foreground as well. And I'm going to frame Yoda in a one-third position. When shooting pets, the most important thing to take note of is to get the eyes sharp and focused. And this is where the animal eye focus come really handy for me. And I often need to engage with pets with either toys or treats. And Sony Alpha 7C is really compact and light enough for me to shoot with just one hand. With the camera's large sensor, you can actually achieve a very nice background blur. So you can actually blur out those distractions at the background while still having your pet in focus. Now I've chosen the photo and I'm going to transfer it to my phone with just a tap. I can actually almost instantly share my photos on the social media. When I shoot pets in action, I usually shoot in continuous mode. The animal eye real-time tracking actually catch the eye really fast and accurate. Thank you everyone for joining us today. I hope you have learned something useful. Do join us in the next two videos. I'll be sharing more on how to shoot outdoor and low light. Sony. Alpha. Hi everyone, my name is Ainsley. Pet cafes are getting popular nowadays. And many pet owners like to bring their pets to pet cafes to meet their furry friends. Some even celebrate their pet's birthday in a cafe. However, it can be quite challenging to take good photos in a cafe, especially with low light. Today, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to take good photos in a cafe with the Sony Alpha 7C. I have placed Mishka by the window where the natural light source is because I want her face to be lit and her eyes to get some light from the light source. At the same time, you can actually look out for artificial lights like light bulbs in the background that will give you some interesting and artistic look. The sky is getting dark now and we don't really have much light in the cafe. With the camera's large sensor, I can actually increase the brightness by adjusting the ISO. I can also turn down my aperture all the way to f1.8. And to further increase the brightness, I can turn down my shutter speed to 1 over 80. I can get a very nice background blur from the fairy light. I usually set my focus area to white and with the animal eye focus on, it's able to pick up the dog's eye very fast and accurately even when I shoot in low light. Because the camera sensor is way bigger than a smartphone, I'm still able to get very good quality photos in low light. When I'm shooting multiple pets, the touch screen actually comes really handy because I can easily select the pet I want to focus by just tapping on the screen. Here I am using an f1.8 lens, so it actually gives me the flexibility to further increase my brightness and have more control on the background blur. It's very easy to transfer photos from the camera to the phone. 
You can connect your phone to the camera while you're shooting and ta-da! The photo will be transferred to your phone instantly. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you have learned something new. Do join us in the next two videos where I'll be sharing more tips and tricks on how to shoot at home and outdoor. Sony. So you've got the cutest pet. <laughs> and you've got the amazing ZV-1. Now let me introduce you to Powergraphy and share with you how you can take awesome videos of your adorable pet with the Sony ZV-1. Alright, so first of all, you want to pair your ZV-1 with the SG R1 grip for added stability and it has controls such as zoom, start and stop recording, easy angle adjustments and it can also act as a mini tripod like this. So yes, the added stability from the grip is especially useful when shooting low angle moving shots of your pet. Also, the grip allows for easy one-handed operation which is very useful when your hands are pretty tight like holding on to a leash. Next tip would be to use Active Steady Shot. So by default, your camera already has Active Steady Shot set and this will allow you to have really really stable shots even as you run around with your pet. No need to go into complicated settings to do this. Sweet! Okay, so the next tip would be to shoot at the eye level. If you're shooting subjects like dogs, chances are they're going to be a lot shorter than you are and you have to go low and shoot at their eye level. In this way, you can create a more immersive scene because the audience perspective will be at their eye level and it's just going to see things through their perspective and just mix it for a more interesting shot. My next tip for you would be to go closer to your pet for more bokeh or blurry background. So to achieve and maximize this effect, on the ZV-1, first of all, we have to shoot at the widest aperture possible and secondly, it would be to go closer to your subject. Okay, so first of all, I want to zoom all the way out to 24mm to give us the largest aperture available on the camera. So the next thing to do is to go close to your subject and immediately you can see that there's a bit more background blur, there's a bit more bokeh and that is beautiful. And so the key is to go close and you will have your bokeh. And on top of that, you can press the C1 button on the ZV-1 to quickly activate between having a blurry background or a clear background which is really convenient and useful. You don't have to go into the menus and tweak the settings to get the blurry background or wide aperture or do some fiddling with the camera. It is really quick and it also frees up one of your hands which you can use to do other things because all you need to do is have one finger to press the button. In addition, you have the amazing autofocus and real-time tracking of the ZV-1 which will help you achieve lightning fast focus when switching between focal lengths and really you never have to worry about your subject being out of focus. So on the camera, I would set my focus mode to be on autofocus continuous or AFC and the focus area to be either wide or zone mode and I'm all set. Alright, so that's it. Go ahead and have fun capturing those awesome pornography moments and share with your friends and family. It's really easy to shoot and share your clips thanks to the built-in Wi-Fi of the ZV-1 and Sony's Imaging Edge mobile app. Thank you so much. Take care. Peace. Bye. <laughs>
Hi everyone, my name is Ainsley. As a pet owner myself, we spend most of the time at home with our pets. Today, I'm going to share with you guys some tips and tricks on how to take indoor photos with the Sony A7C. Dogs and cats are always on the move. So shooting with 10 frames per second it actually gives me the flexibility to take multiple shots, capturing the expression and choose the best one afterwards. Okay, Yodan is now lying in a very comfortable position on the cushion. 
this is a very good position because there's light source from the window and I'm going to use the cushion here as the foreground as well as the background with the cushion and we can also use household objects as foreground as well and I'm going to frame Yoda in a one-third position when shooting pets, the most important thing to take note of is to get the eyes sharp and focused. And this is where the animal eye focus come really handy for me. And I often need to engage with pets with either toys or treats. And Sony Alpha 7C is really compact and light enough for me to shoot with just one hand. With the camera's large sensor, you can actually achieve a very nice background blur. So you can actually blur out those distractions at the background while still having your pet in focus. Now I have chosen the photo and I'm going to transfer it to my phone with just a tap. I can actually almost instantly share my photos on the social media. When I shoot pets in action, I usually shoot in continuous mode. The animal eye real-time tracking actually catch the eye really fast and accurate. Thank you everyone for joining us today. I hope you have learned something useful. Do join us in the next two videos. I'll be sharing more on how to shoot outdoor and low light. Sunny. Alpha. Hi everyone, my name is NC. Pet cafes are getting popular nowadays. And many pet owners like to bring their pets to pet cafes to meet their furry friends. Some even celebrate their pet's birthday in a cafe. However, it can be quite challenging to take good photos in a cafe, especially with low light. Today, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to take good photos in a cafe with the Sony Alpha 7C. I have placed Mishka by the window where the natural light source is because I want her face to be lit and her eyes to get some light from the light source. At the same time, you can actually look out for artificial lights like light bulbs in the background that will give you some interesting and artistic look. The sky is getting dark now and we don't really have much light in the cafe. With the camera's large sensor, I can actually increase the brightness by adjusting the ISO. I can also turn down my aperture all the way to f1.8. And to further increase the brightness, I can turn down my shutter speed to 1 over 80. I can get a very nice background blur from the fairy light. I usually set my focus area to white and with the animal eye focus on, it's able to pick up the dog's eye very fast and accurately even when I shoot in low light. Because the camera sensor is way bigger than a smartphone, I'm still able to get very good quality photos in low light. When I'm shooting multiple pets, the touch screen actually comes really handy because I can easily select the pet I want to focus by just tapping on the screen. Here I am using an f1.8 lens, so it actually gives me the flexibility to further increase my brightness and have more control on the background blur. It's very easy to transfer photos from the camera to the phone. You can connect your phone to the camera while you're shooting, and ta-da! The photo will be transferred to your phone instantly. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you have learned something new. Do join us in the next two videos where I'll be sharing more tips and tricks on how to shoot at home and outdoor. Sony. So you've got the cutest pet <laughs> and you've got the amazing ZV-1. Now let me introduce you to Pography and share with you how you can take awesome videos of your adorable pet with the Sony ZV-1. Alright, so first of all, you want to pair your ZV-1 with the SG R1 grip for added stability and it has controls such as zoom, start and stop recording, easy angle adjustments and it can also act as a mini tripod like this. So yes, the added stability from the grip is especially useful when shooting low angle moving shots of your pet.
Also, the grip allows for easy one-handed operation, which is very useful when your hands are pretty tight, like holding on to a leash. Next tip would be to use Active Steady Shot. So by default, your camera already has Active Steady Shot set, and this will allow you to have really, really stable shots, even as you run around with your pet. No need to go into complicated settings to do this. Sweet. Okay, so the next tip would be to shoot at the eye level. If you're shooting subjects like dogs, chances are they're going to be a lot shorter than you are and you have to go low and shoot at their eye level. In this way, you can create a more immersive scene because the audience perspective will be at their eye level and it's just going to see things through their perspective and just mix it for a more interesting shot. My next tip for you would be to go closer to your pet for more bokeh or blurry background. So to achieve and maximize this effect on the ZV-1, first of all, we have to shoot at the widest aperture possible. And secondly, it would be to go closer to your subject. Okay, so first of all, I want to zoom all the way out to 24mm to give us the largest aperture available on the camera. So the next thing to do is to go close to your subject. And immediately, you can see that there's a bit more background blur, there's a bit more bokeh, and that is beautiful. And so the key is to go close, and you will have your bokeh. And on top of that, you can press the C1 button on the ZV-1 to quickly activate between having a blurry background or a clear background, which is really convenient and useful. You don't have to go into the menus and tweak the settings to get the blurry background or wide aperture or do some fiddling with the camera. It is really quick and it also frees up one of your hands which you can use to do other things because all you need to do is have one finger to press the button. In addition, you have the amazing autofocus and real-time tracking of the ZV-1 which will help you achieve lightning fast focus when switching between focal lengths and really you never have to worry about your subject being out of focus. So on the camera, I would set my focus mode to be on autofocus continuous or AFC and the focus area to be either wide or zone mode and I'm all set. All right, so that's it. Go ahead and have fun capturing those awesome pornography moments and share with your friends and family. It's really easy to shoot and share your clips thanks to the built-in Wi-Fi of the ZV-1 and Sony's Imaging Edge mobile app. Thank you so much. Take care. Peace. Ha <laughs>
evening, everyone. Hello. I am Kendra Duran, and I am pleased to welcome you all to Sony and Bow and Wow's Lifestyle Pography Talk for pet parents and pet lovers out there. Sony recently launched its Pography campaign with Bow and Wow, the country's first and all-natural pet store in the Philippines, to motivate pet owners to share their special milestones with their pets. To reward us all for tuning in, our partner brands are giving away exciting prizes tonight through a raffle. All you have to do is register in the link posted at the description box to enter the raffle. It's as simple as that. What are you waiting for? I see a lot. I see some people are already joining us. Hello, everyone, and good evening. I hope you find the registration link. Again, it's in the description box, and we have. So much in store for you tonight and prizes to give away later, so stay with us. Okay, so let's get going. You know, we have so much to talk about tonight. So to welcome our guests, I'd like to call on and introduce the first one. Our first guest has been recognized by some of the country's prestigious award-giving bodies in the creative industry, such as our Addo Awards and Spikes for his works as an advertising photographer and commercial director. But today is such a special day because he's joining us to talk about his passion for photography and his cat. Everybody, let's all welcome Sony product expert, Nigel Laksamana. Hey, Nigel. Hi, Kendra. Good evening and good evening, everyone who's joining us on Sony's uh, YouTube page. And... I'd like to uh, greet some special pets, okay? Normally we greet people, Kendra, but now we're, we're greeting pets. <laughs> we're, greeting, <laughs> we're greeting animals. Okay, so I have a, a couple of uh, names here. Let me greet uh, Juni and Doja, owned by Denise. Let me greet a Queen, Princess, Kitty and Pepper, uh, owned by Jolo. Uh, I'd like also to greet uh, Reno and Pin Pin. Who is owned by Father Al? So it's it's Aww. pets now who are who are um, we greeting? <laughs> Hello, and are tuning in, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the pets are tuned in. I, in I, that... Go ahead, go ahead. I, I also some uh, I also see uh, here. I think th this cat has a YouTube page, Pusang White. <laughs> it's <laughs> Pusang White. Hello, Pusang White, and. Uh, Luke the Pomeranian is also watching. Hello. <laughs> I don't know if you can understand this, but hello. Hi, Kendra. And and you know what? I, our our cat at home, she's also white, so we call her Miming Naputi. Miming <laughs> <laughs> we call her that. So, Pusang Pute, hello to you. We also have a Pusang White here. You know, Nige, let's make this conversation a bit more like a party because we have another set of guests with us so let me just you know hold your horses and let me just quickly call them okay sure 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 go ahead you guys ready joining us tonight again is our husband and wife duo who regularly shares their life adventure online with their fur babies that is highly adored by their fans and followers. Let us welcome TV personalities, content creators, podcasters, gamers, and pop parents to Soba and Salem, Megan and Mikael Daes. Hey guys! Ooh, it's hello, a party! Hello, hello, hello! Hello from Soba! Soba in the house! <laughs> Hi Kendra! Hi Nigel! Hi, Hi Nigel. guys! Genetic today, you guys! <laughs> and hello to everybody watching out there on YouTube and the interwebs. Uh, of course, as you guys have already heard, this is Soba Doba. And Nigel, Kendra, I'd like to let you guys know that Soba has a new second name. Okay. Her, it, it is Soba Asong Kape. <laughs> 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 so I was like, so So that's So Soba 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 Soba
we we yeah. may pick up one or two. <laughs> That's true, Naja. You know, I realized we could probably come across some really interesting nicknames. Oh, nga, yeah. si Soba. Her, her nickname is actually Soba Doba. And then si Salem naman, Salem Waylem. Ewan ko, bakit kailangan may rhyme yung mga Wala nicknames? Wala lang. Yun lang yung dumudulas pag tinatawag mo siya eh. <laughs> Lalambing natin, no? May mga rhymes na lumalabas. Yeah. yeah. Sa, sa amin naman, baligtad, no? Kapag malambing, yung nickname. Pag galit na si Mama, my, my mom... Tatawagin niya sa full name. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Yung mom ko second name yung pinantatawag pagka hindi na siya masaya. <laughs> okay. You know, you guys, it's actually really nice to have this community, you know? And it's a very um, embracing uh, community and we have a lot of them here tonight. And if they're not here, I think they're also, um, they have also joined this workshop because they want to learn, right? And I think that's the beauty about the Sony and Bow and Wow Spography campaign. Because, you know, during these trying times, when travel is not allowed, more and more people are spending time with their dogs, with their cats, and, you know, other pets. So I'm sure you guys, our guests tonight, our speakers, would all agree that our bonding time with our pets have become one of the sources of comfort for us. Mm -hmm. No, what do you guys think? So can I just quickly ask, uh, what about the Sony and Wow and Wow's photography campaign do you like the most? Okay, let's start with, with Mikael and, and Megan. Okay. Yeah, uh, I guess um, for me, I think Kendra kind of hit the nail on the head in that Lahat tayo, we find comfort and solace sa uh, mga pets natin. Yeah. And for me and Megan, that's doubly so because we got so about two months before uh, the, the first lockdown. quarantine hit, yeah. the first lockdown hit. So kami, at first, we didn't really know what what place Soba would have in our hearts. And then right in the middle of it, when you were feeling really down, when you're trying to figure out kailan ba ito matatapos na hanggang ngayon, hindi pa siya natatapos. Yeah. That's when we found out, and I remember this one moment. I was in bed, and I turned to Megan, and I told her, "You know what, Bones? Sobrang swerte tayo kay Soba, no? Bakit sobrang swerte. Ako? Ano Kasi, no, because so Soba really changed the dynamic of our family, and even now, um, as we were preparing for this workshop earlier this morning, we were just preparing our stuff. I just got to thinking. I didn't tell you this, Bones. I was like." Wow, Bones, you know what? I can't imagine life without Soba. Like, what would we be doing during the times that uh, I'm not playing with Soba, hindi ko siya pinagmamasdan, hindi ko siya inaasikaso. So I can't even imagine that anymore. And Bonis, I'm sure you can't imagine that either. Yeah, and I feel like Soba has brought in, in so much responsibility into our lives. And when it comes to this campaign, the pography campaign, I feel like it's us being able to capture those moments talaga because you know every single day that we have Soba she grows and she grows and it's always nice looking back at the times na super late niya or the times na hindi pa siya masyadong disciplined like makulit lang talaga siya so being able to capture those moments in you know in video format or in photo format at least may nababalikan tayo and we can say, oh, ganyan pala siya dati. Ang liit-liit niya, ang cute-cute nga. Ngayon, konting cute na lang. Higante na siya. <laughs> Higante na. Higante na si Soba. <laughs> That's really good to hear. And I'm sure a lot of them can relate also. So, let's dive into that a little pa later kasi you'll get to share to us how how it is for you guys capturing all those moments. Now, let's ask Nigel. Night, how about you? What do you get what do you like about the campaign? What yeah, what made you support it? Yeah, first of course, um the campaign is witty. I like the pography, <laughs> you know. <laughs> the play of words is is really witty, but uh, you know, I've been um uh, with the Sony family for the past couple of years and you know, Sony has been branded always as uh, a professional camera. But little do people know that it's also for lifestyle. It's also for beginners. So it's not really intimidating. And one of these features that I really like is the animal IAF, the eye autofocus, in which we will discuss later. We we know that Sony is very good in autofocusing, but uh, there's a cool feature called the animal IAF that everybody will surely love. It will make photography easier and it will make us easier to capture our pet portraits. 
I super agree. And I'm excited for you guys to talk more about that. So I'm sure realized realizing this, Sony and Bow and Wow are rolling out series of these pography talks to guide our fellow pet parents in taking care of our pets and of course sharing our special moments online. So speaking of social of special moments rather, I am excited to hear how Mikael, Megan and Nigel are capturing their fantastic photos using their Sony camera. So with that, let us start first with Mikael, shall we? Mikael, yes. are you there? I'm ready, let's do it. I'm excited All as right. well. All right, here we go, ladies and gents and all the fur babies out there. And of course, the those watching, so I know you have your fur babies and maybe and hopefully you get ideas on how to capture lovely moments with them. So here we go, this is Pography with the Sony A7C. And because Nigel loves this play on words, Perfect ito para sa mga parents jaan. Nako. <laughs> Nigel is cringing na ayo na niya sa akin. <laughs> but I like it. Lagyan mo pa ng accent. Perfect. Pa perfect, perfect for all the parents out there. But anyway, we digress. So okay, let's go back. Here is photography with the Sony A7C, of course, featuring Soba Doba. That is who has begun to sleep because whenever we have work and we have Soba with us. For whatever reason, that is her lullaby. Pag nagtatrabaho kami, pag nag-host kami, matutulog na siya. Actually, right down here. Yeah, right down here. Actually, tama nga yung sinabi ni, nila Kendra kanina, no? Kasi our pets offer us so much love and care. And honestly, when we're just sitting by our table, constantly looking at this screen, ang laking tulong na nandito lang sila, nasa tabi lang natin. And they really, ang warm ng pakiramdam ni Soba. Sorry, Soba. I'm like, kind of waking her up a bit. She grunts all the time. Pag <laughs> nagagalo siya. And mm. continue, please, Foco. Okay, and before we get to that next slide, I just want to give a disclaimer and note for everybody out there watching. I call my wife Bonizi. So if that naturally comes out, then uh, at least you know what I am telling her and yes. what I am calling her. And, and she calls me Fofo. So our dog's name is not Fofo. That is my nickname for Fofo, for Mikael. <laughs> this is Soba, by the way. All right, and with that, let's get to our uh, second slide of the presentation. Let's do this. So, para sa many bones, it's always nice to start out a workshop or just a conversation. This is more of kwentuhan with some context. So, I'm sure some people would be thinking, anong ginagawa nila dito sa photography workshop? Yeah. Hindi ba umiiyak lang sila on TV? <laughs> <laughs> so mga local TV channel sa mga teleserye, bakit nandito sila pag-uusapan nila ito? Okay. Okay? So, this was a journey, getting to this point. So, yes, uh, day job namin for the past 10 years for Bonizi, almost 20 years na. Grabe naman, pinapalanda mo ako. True naman, ano, true. Uh, has been uh, acting and uh, working in teleseries for local networks. But... On the side, one thing that I was very much into was tech. And part of tech was laptops and, of course, cameras. Mm -hmm. Pero yun nga, I was spending my hard-earned money on these lovely, beautiful devices. Pero wala akong ROI. Oh, di ba? Ang ganda-ganda ng camera mo. Pero saan mo naman gagamitin? Sasabihin mo nga sa akin kung ano ang features na gagamit mo ba nung time na yon. I remember. Okay. So here we go. This is where Sony starts off in my life. I remember I bought the RX100. It's either the Mark II or the Mark III. Parang pinigot 3, Fofo. Okay, maybe the Mark 3. I was Might looking at it. I was showing Bonis, you know, I was like, oh my God, I, I spent a lot of my hard-earned money on this. Yeah. What am I going to do with it now? So I thought, why don't I start making videos? Okay, and then true enough, the YouTube boom came out. Yes, and you, you started... TikTok, yeah, you Instagram, started, Facebook. Lahat tuloy-tuloy na, but when you started on YouTube... Vlogs weren't really a thing like what it is today, the yeah. Like they were just starting, and if you saw somebody on the road with a camera facing towards them and them talking to the camera, medyo weird yung dating nung time na yon. Bones, correction, super weird yon. Having a camera, I'm gonna show you guys. Having a camera and doing that and walking on the road, sorry, Bonizi. Yes. Oh my god, that was so weird, and you could just, uh, yung shame na nararamdaman ko and yung embarrassment at the start. Because, of course, it's a different unit. There are a lot of people who are looking But anyway, we started making videos and I got so into it. And it gave me even more reason to keep upgrading. 
I eventually got the RX 100 Mark III, IV, four, five, mm-hmm. six. I think it's up to the seventh already now. And now Bonizi and I have our most recent cameras, which is the Sony A7C. And for Bonizi, the ZV1. And we've gotten to this point where we have so many experiences. We are not pro. I I, I cannot say that we are professionals or extreme experts. We are not professionals or extreme yes, experts. Yes, we cannot say that. that. <laughs> but what we can say is that we have so many experiences that we can share, and that we feel a lot of you viewers will be able to relate to. So, and I think that's what this is about when you get into your hobbies, like mm-hmm. photography. Uh, it's all about sharing and learning through these shared experiences. Yes. All right. So let's do it. That is how it all began. So let's move on to the main topic of uh, this video or this live. So it is photography. But I also added one more thing, and that's moments. Because in my mind, I equate photography with moments because mm. the moments and the pictures and images and video clips wherein we capture our fur babies isipin niyo na lang to yung scenario na ito ha? you wake up in the morning your fur baby is right beside you syempre when you wake up for whatever reason they wake up with you and then they look at you and when they look at you you're like oh my god <laughs> nakatunaw ng puso yeah. and you just want to take it and you want to be able to just you know put that moment in ice and immortalize it. And how do we do that? With photography. <laughs> so we can do that with photos and through videos. And that's basically what I want to talk about. Mm-hmm. So photography is capturing these moments. And for some people out there, um, they might think na, oh wait, kailangan sobrang ganda ng moment na kakapturin ko with my dog or with my cat or with my pet. But I just want to be able to share that. That's not really the case. Whatever you think is a beautiful moment of your pet, kahit uh, para sa yung blurred na blurred yung picture, <laughs> okay lang yan. If it's for you, you think that there is value and there is love in that moment that you captured, then valid po yan. So these are stories kasi. I equate these moments into stories. So you capture your pet eating, walking, doing a trick. Uh, stretching, inter- stretching <laughs> interacting with your loved ones. When you capture that, you immortalize it. And in the future, you show these moments and these stories and you can relate to people and show them how much love you ha- you had or have between you and your pet. Mm-hmm. And that's why I felt so strongly about this workshop and sharing our own experiences on how we capture our beautiful moments with Soba Doba. <laughs> now with that, Okay, if we want to be able to capture these moments in slow-mo or 30 frames, 60 frames, or in super high-res photos, we do need the proper device for it. And that's what brings me to the next slide. So here we have the Sony A7C. I actually have this in hand right now. And you need a powerful device to be able to capture especially photography moments. Here's an example. Okay, let's say kumakain si Soba. Okay, may nginangat-ngat siyang buto. Okay, if I have to get my Bones. camera, turn it, turn this on, and wait 10 million seconds just for it to boot up, and then I have to click the shutter, tapos another 10 million seconds for it to capture the photo, obviously, wala na, matanda na si Soba. <laughs> okay, so you need a device that's extremely powerful and extremely handy and ergonomic. And this is what I found here in the A7C. From the moment you turn it on, you know that it gives you the confidence that, oh my God, pagka on ko, yan, yes. bam, pack, 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 pack. Makakuha ko na yung moments na gusto ko kasama ni Soba. So there are so many features in this device that I would like to talk about and we'll go through that one by one and hopefully it gives you a clearer picture for those who have A7Cs already I'm sure you'll be able to share my experiences and for those mulling whether or not they should buy it I'm sure this will tip the scales for you okay so let's move on to the next slide all right so I guess I wanted to tackle one of the questions that I always get when it comes to photography, especially those who want to get into it or those looking to upgrade their workflow and their skill level. They're always asking, okay, what lens should I use? And this is also a question that we would contemplate on before when we were trying to like figure out what do we bring when we travel? So 
this was also a question that was brought up multiple times so we purchased tayo ng cameras natin. That is true. So right now, before we get to that, uh, the answer to that, I just want to show what you guys see on the screen. You have three shots mm -hmm. and I had three prime lenses with me, a 24mm, a 40mm, and a 50 so the lower the number, the wider the yes. shot. So just in layman's terms. And the answer to what lens you should use as you see these different kinds of photos is the always lovely, it depends. Yeah, and actually these photos were taken from the same angle and the same distance from me earlier this morning. We took this kanina na. Tama. So, okay. So, it depends. So, what exactly are we depending on right now? So, let's go to the next slide. So, the two things that I consider, if I were to simplify it, would be budget and use case. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Madali lang. Budget. The Fempre, if you don't have the money to buy an extremely premium lens, there are different ranges of lenses and tiers of lenses that you can work with. And ito yun. I also started with all sorts of lenses. I had to start with the budget lenses and work my way up. But believe me, if you are determined enough to work on it, you will eventually get to those things that you want. Yeah. So budget, it's always nice to be able to be honest with yourself. It's There's uh, there's no point to overspending when your budgets do not call for it yet. So always be honest with yourself with that. And hand in hand with that is the use case, which I think is the even more important factor. Yes. Ano bang klase mga photos yung kinukuhanan mo or videos yung parati mong tinitake? Okay. So example, me and Bonizi, the very first videos that we took for the first, what, six, seven years of us on YouTube were travel vlogs. Yes. So we couldn't have a bag of 10 lenses carried around going from coffee shop to coffee shop, switching lenses whenever there's a good shot that we wanted. We need something that was all in one. So something that could take care of most of the situations that we would be in. So we ended up with a zoom lens. Mm -hmm. So I think it was somewhere in the low, in the wider angle range. Yeah. So that's what we wanted. And we got one that was quite fast. And that's just what worked out for us. Mm -hmm. So we had just one lens for a very, very, very long time. And for you guys, you guys need to figure out, okay, ano ba yung kukuhanan ko most of the time? Uh -huh. And then from there, that's when you can figure out, okay, ano yung bagay sa akin? Of course, it's always nice to be able to test it out. So mm -hmm. having friends, or maybe you can talk to Sony if you can borrow a lens from them to try it out. <laughs> Why not, right? So I think that is my tidbit in terms of picking the right lens for you. Bonizi, do you have anything to add when it comes to lenses? For me, well, I'm not as techy as Mikael is, but I do remember that when I was studying in school at that time, there was only one prime lens that I would have, and that was the 50mm. Mm -hmm. And I felt like that was able to really capture more close-up shots better, like mas maganda yung dating, mas intimate yung feel. So if you want something mas close, I would suggest going with the 50mm. True, true. I like that one, Easy. Yeah. A very specific, ka sa akin, a very specific recommendation. Uh, it can be a bit techy here. Okay, I, okay. I'm going to share it. Okay, so there was this one time that I was trying to get an 85 mm lens, I think, and that's super close up. Like if I shot one here for bones, you know, I would be seeing her eye na lang. Baka naman gusto mo ako bilhan ng macro. Oh, oh. so anyway, uh, I was looking for an 85 mm, but the thing is, when we would travel. I would have to be on the other block to be able to take a wide shot of the building that Bonizi yeah. was entering. So it just didn't match. So that was an example of being able to be honest with, my, honest with myself and say, okay, this is not for me. I need to look for the right lens. <laughs> yes. So wider angle, yeah. Okay. So anyway, um, I will talk slowly about the different features of the A7C yeah. that has been extremely useful for me and for Bonizi. But before that, let's go get on to the next slide, which may have a video. So here we go with the A7C. Just some indoor shots with Soba Doba being lazy during a beautiful afternoon. And as you can see, uh, I like shooting her near windows and I'll talk more about that in a bit. <laughs> Cute. And you'll also notice that focus is always tack sharp. I absolutely love this specific feature, which I think Nigel already mentioned, it's the animal IAF. And 
these are just snippets. This is that that would be a montage that would come out on the vlog, to be mm-hmm. honest with you. Mm-hmm. But anyway, let's talk about this. So I guess one situation that almost all of us paw parents would encounter with our pets would be indoor shots. And for me and Bonizi, what we like is when we shoot so near windows, especially kung my blinds or my curtains, kasi yeah, na diffuse yung light. May diffuser ka na. So ang ganda ng lapag ng ilaw dun kay Soba, and especially because she has brown hair, so it looks like it's glistening in the sun. Hindi, tsaka pulut din kasi yung hair ni Soba. So when the sun hits her fur, parang um, it's just the right amount of highlights and shades as well. Yeah, and I mean, just an additional outside of photography, uh, even when I do my vlogging spiels, I almost never do it in the middle of a room. Mm-hmm. I always go to a window. Hindi ko lang pinapakita, but literally, my face is like two inches from the window, and I'm vlogging like this. <laughs> so this is the window, and I'm vlogging that way. <laughs> so be- just because maganda talaga yung bagsak ng ilaw, especially when uh, it's um, mga 9 a.m., 10, a- 10 a.m., and then 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. So the times that the sun is at our side, Mm -hmm. that's really nice and diffused light, at least for our taste. But always remember, whatever Bonizi and I are sharing here, these are our experiences. Kayo naman, you will find confidence in your own experiences. Baka may iba dyan, gusto nila. Nag-shoot lagi sa dilim, kasi yun yung mood na gusto nila. Oh, or gusto nila, nasa ano, um, 12 noon na araw, baka yung iba, ganun yung style nila, yung harsh, mas harsh yung light. Yeah, so it's... each his own and actually I think the beautiful journey about photography and just shooting video and photos in general is the more you do it the more you figure out more about yourself na ah okay eto pala yung gusto ko and it's be, being able to have confidence in what you like kasi some people let's be honest kahit kami na pressure wow ang ganda naman ng IG ni Nigel ang ganda naman ng IG ni Kendra gusto ko gayahin and then in that mission to uh, imitate and emulate nawawala kung ay ano nga pala yung gusto ko because I've been emulating this person for the longest time nawala ka na sa sarili mong opinion yeah and then sometimes nagagaya mo lang din pero in the end hindi naman pala yun yung natitipuhan mo or yun yung style mo talaga so always practice and always find what works for you and kung ano din yung equipment mo because not everybody is going to have the same kind of equipment so it's always nice to try to find what you can use in your home to make the most out of your photography. Yes, but to recap this indoor situation, something Bonizi and I would recommend is try putting your uh, lovely fur baby beside the window and mm-hmm. taking it during the early hours of the morning or during sunset. Para sa amin, it's always a magical hour for us. So that's something that you can try and see if you guys like. If not, it's always good to experiment. Okay, and with that, let's go on. Let's move on to our next slide. After indoor shots. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. I want this is what I was super excited for. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the geeky mode with the A7C. Okay, I always have to prepare myself and not super geek out on technical specs when it comes to these workshops. Okay, wait, Fofo, uh, modulate your sorry, voice. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Napapasigaw ka na yata sa sobrang excited mo. <laughs> okay, 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 breathe, wait. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's focus. Okay, parents, listen to this. One of the best features when it comes to this A7C and your pets is the animal IAF. And AF means autofocus, not the slang that millennials use nowadays. All right? So just so you know, Sony, as Nigel already said, has been known. They have this reputation for having absolutely amazing autofocus. And all of a sudden, they give that autofocus to our pets. And it works like a charm. Do you know how well it works? Look at this photo that you guys see right now. It is Soba and Madame Bones. Tinalbugan ni Soba ang Miss World 2013 natin because Soba is the one in focus. Oo, if I showed you IAF the high-res photo of this, makikita nyo, blurred yung mukha, oh. nakaboke yung mukha ng Miss World natin. Ako pala yung background ni Ikaw, Soba. Ikaw, <laughs> ginawa kang background ni Soba do. Baganyan kagaling yung animal IAF. All the shots that you guys see in the photos and in the videos that we're showing in this presentation, it uses animal IAF. And I have to say, okay, I will give a percentage to this on how successful it has been. Please believe me, 100%. Yeah, basically. <laughs> it's unreal. I mean, in, in days, in years past, 
We could probably not say that. Let's be honest, for those who have been into photography and been working with cameras, uh, autofocus systems uh, if five years ago are so different from autofocus systems mm -hmm. now. And having the confidence na shoot ka lang ng shoot and knowing that your, uh, your, your pet's face will be in focus, Grabe, ibang klase yung confidence na binibigay yeah. sa'yo as a foreign and as someone who likes photography and videography in general. Okay, and now we move on because I could talk about animal IAF and the tech specs <laughs> about that. Now let's move on, okay? Easy file transfer. Um, a lot of people, uh, I think, are very, can get intimidated by the workings and protocols of handling a camera such as this. And the cool thing about the A7C and the other cameras yeah. of Sony is they have wireless transfer via Wi-Fi and NFC. Okay, so if those things scare you, okay, even more, then ito lang yun. Okay, you can connect your phone via the app and the app is called the Imaging, Imaging Edge, Edge Mobile. Mobile. Okay, it's super duper easy. You have one time setup. There are so many instructions in the manuals and online. And as soon as you set it up, it's a breeze. Uh, it's a breeze to transfer your camera phone. Uh, photos to your phone. And don't worry because later on when I talk about uh, in my presentation, I'll be talking about the Imaging Edge mobile app. Nah, I think you. Wow, well, I got you, Popo. And dito naman, okay, the next one is the very angle LCD screen, not the lens. Yung lens po natin, hindi po very angle yan. <laughs> Isang angulo lang po yung lens natin. Uh, typo ko po yan. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the very angle LCD screen is super important for me because like I said, Bonizi and I were vloggers Mm -hmm. So being able to see how our frame looks and our exposure in the camera, there right we there, go, right there. Oh, yeah. like that, is extremely important. And I think a lot of people now uh, don't just take photos; they take mm -hmm. videos. And when they take videos, they want to be able to make cuento. So pag mega cuento kayo, syempre gagamitin yung red yung very angle LCD. And such a such a simple addition, pero so powerful, especially for uh, parents like you and me. And okay. Probably my favorite part after Animal IAF is the great auto settings. Woo! That's my <laughs> okay, go. para sa mga hobbyists like me out there, syempre gusto natin magmanual lagi. Set natin yung ISO, set natin yung f-stop, <laughs> set natin yung shutter speed para maganda. Ano yung pinaka artistic combination ng tatlong yun para makuha ako ng maganda si Soba. Hey, ito. And then by that time that you're done setting it up, Wala na. Uh, wala tulog na. na po si Soba. Wala na pong nangyayari. Okay. Hindi na pwede ang manual sa mga, uh, mga ano, fur babies natin. Yes. We guys, parents, we need a device that has, that we can have confidence in the auto settings. Yeah. And I go back to our footage and all the photos here. Everything here was shot with auto exposure with the A7C. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, I am so happy with all of it. Because yun nga, our pography moments uh, with our pets, these, are, these things are so precious. And they're very fleeting. Yun yung crucial description dun eh. Fleeting sila. So we really need to be ready. So our camera boots up fast, it's quick and it's powerful. But the auto settings, sasabayan tayo ng A7C. Now, as soon as you click that shutter, it will be in focus and it will be well exposed. And for me, that is the biggest sell here on the A7C. To be honest with you, like it just makes me so happy to be able to say that already. Yeah. Ten years from the time that I started working uh, on with cameras and with Sony cameras specifically. So there, Bonis, do you have anything to add here? Some notable features. Nito. Yeah, I don't I don't think people should be afraid of using auto because some people may think, nah, yeah, I got this camera, I should utilize it for all the features that it has. But for the purpose of pography, it really makes it so much easier to capture those moments of your pets and with your pets. Cause they won't know that you guys are setting all these like great settings with the ISO, yes. diba? or the That's so true. Diba? Di naman alam Mga pets natin yun, all they want to do is spend time with you and enjoy that moment with you. So why not capture that moment quickly with the auto setting? For co-pet parents, Bonizi hit the nail on the head once again. Uh, we don't look at what camera settings. We don't want to see that in the caption. What we want to see is a cute action shot Ooh. of your pet. And if you are able to get that, then it's successful already. Pography mission accomplished. Okay, but with that, let's move on to our next slide. We could talk all we could talk about these things for days, to be honest with you. 
but let's try to keep it short, quick, and succinct. So let's move on to our next slide. And I think that's another movie, uh, another video, I believe. Yes, here we go. So this is me using 120 frames on the A7C. And I'd like you guys to notice kung mag auto focus si Soba. Ever. Uh, FYI, spoiler alert, uh, hindi po. <laughs> hindi po siya mangyayari. Uh, but here's another thing that I really like. So this was shot around 5.30 p.m. So the sun was setting. So light wasn't optimal anymore. So imagine this camera being able to autofocus, to auto expose, and to have such crisp looking footage in 120 frames per second. Oh my God, my mind was blown, especially on this particular shot when Sobo was running at me, because you see the dark spots are really dark. You see the highlights of the sky, they're really bright, but the A7C was still able to get it beautifully. And then, of course, here is Soba dancing and twirling around. <laughs> and paano, paano ba naman hindi matutunaw ang puso mo pag nakita mo ang ganyang video? And, <laughs> you know, that video for me when I was editing it, and it was a super quick edit lang naman, I just put the cuts together. I was showing Bonizi and I was amazed. And I was, I was amazed even more when I was editing because yeah. sometimes the best devices that you use are those that you don't notice. Naginagamit mo lang, and it's only when you see na the photo and the video, you're like, wow, ang ganda pala nito. Parang, parang Avengers movie. Wow. <laughs> diba? Yung kula, yung ilaw, yung pagkakuha, yung pagkakrisp ng focus. No, and it's so different because now that you say that, I remember when you were shooting this, it was pretty dark outside already. You could only see the colors in the sky. But the Sony A7C was able to capture everything na crisp in mm -hmm. video quality. Yeah, so there. Uh, let's move on to our next slide. There's so many features I could talk about with these cameras. My God, they're so uh, feature rich. But anyway, there you go. So that was just an example of action shots with Sobadoba in video. But here's an example of a photo action shot. I forgot to mention this because this is our second workshop with Pography na kasi. But this photo... I think was the third shot I ever took with the A7C without even thinking about it. This was in auto. Really? This was in auto. I just turned on the camera. I got Soba a treat. I said, Soba, up, up. Snap the photo continuously. And the third shot, that was what? it. It's beautiful. Soba's completely in focus. You can see her mid jump. And sobrang ganda na pagka flap ng ears niya. Just such a crisp shot. I was so amazed when I saw this. Like, I, I think I took a couple of, uh, maybe almost 100 photos during that first photo session with A7C. Mm -hmm. On the third shot, I was like, that is my money shot. I think I posted this on Instagram already. Did. Yeah. Because it's really good. So I think this shot, um, it says a thousand words in terms of the camera that I was using. Mm -hmm. So for those who want to be able to take shots like that of their pets, then you know what I used. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the next slide. Okay, so we've talked about the features, we've talked about the experience, the context for me and Bonizi, but there are so many other things that uh, can help you level up your experience mm -hmm. with photography and with your Sony cameras. And one of that is what I'm holding over here. This is uh, the grip accessory for the Sony A7C. Of course, you can use it with the other cameras in the Sony lineup. Okay, just oh, okay, you're gonna, okay. I, will I thought you were going to do something with it. I will put it together, don't worry. Okay, so this grip is actually pretty amazing. Um, I've been using it for around two days now. First thing you notice, it's wireless, guys. Mm -hmm. No wires. Okay, hindi na uso po yung mga isasaksak mo dun sa data port ng camera mo. It takes around 5 to 10 seconds to set it up. You look at the menu. I think Bonizi might have a video on that. It's just so easy. And, and... Just to let you guys know, there is a built-in shutter release. So because you connect it via Bluetooth, you can control your camera via the grip. Yes. So when you're walking around, when you're walking around taking a video while you're traveling, you can press record on a button here on the grip. I'm sorry, Bones, for covering you. It's okay. Go lang. Okay, you can zoom in and out. You can take a photo. You can even change a profile setting. There's a C1 profile setting for those who already use Sony cameras. You know what that is. Uh, 
So I really like it. And I think one of the most underrated parts of this grip is its ergonomics. Bonizi and I have used all sorts of tripods. Believe me. <laughs> we've used big tripods while we're traveling, holding it in front of us. We've used small tripods. We've used uh, the gorilla pods. And this by far is the most comfortable. Because it's rounded, parang shaped to the palm of your hand. You so when you hold it. it like this you can hold it for long periods of time so this is a this is an underrated mvp device i have to say at least diba parang hindi nakakangalay nakawakan kahit mm -hmm. na the major might be got yung camera yeah and then i guess the last point i would like to point out for photography users this turns into a tripod, tripod. That is low to the ground because I have, like I said, I've used other tripods and they're so high. They put your camera around six to 12 inches off the ground right away. And this one is probably, this is the lowest profile tripod that I've used on my camera mm -hmm. so far in terms of uh, being able to turn it into a vlogging handheld yeah. camera. So I'm very, very happy with this and it's very, very light. So if you're looking for an accessory to up your game and give you extra flexibility with your shots, and that's something that you guys can consider. And with that, I think that was the last slide. Was that my last slide, Nigel? Yes, it was Ooh, my last slide. Photography forever. Photography forever. We've been talking, Bonizi. I think I've been talking for almost 30 minutes. Yes. It's Is okay. this too much? I'm no, sorry. No, 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 no. It's okay. Honestly, there were things that you said that I didn't even know you were going to make cuento these stories. And we're all just here enjoying the stories that you have to tell while you enjoy your moments with Soba. Yeah, so all these moments that you see here, I've posted on Instagram simply because it makes my heart melt. And these are all taken with Sony cameras. You see different kinds. You see a fam photo. You see just me and Soba when Bonizi isn't there. We're at our happiest. Uh, wow. You see Soba. You see uh, Soba licking her face, being cute. You see a top shot of me taking Soba and Bonizi, which is basically my two favorite subjects to take ever. <laughs> But with that, I'm excited for everybody watching because I hope you enjoyed the storytelling that Bonizi and I just shared for this first part of the workshop. And we hope we gave you ideas. If you have any questions, anything at all, uh, technical, emotional, photography related, please let us know and we'll have a question and answer moment later on uh, in this live stream. And with that, we get to a promo for everybody watching. Yay. We have an A7C promo. There's a discount of 10,000 pesos off. And you get that free Bluetooth grip plus photography freebies. So the best accessory that I was talking about, yes. you get it for free plus 10K off on an A7C. This promo period is from April 17 to April 30, 2021. So you guys know what to do. Add to cart. Add it to cart. Add it to cart. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much. It was I was smiling all through. I'm, I'm sure you can see me. I was smiling all through. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Super reactive, no? <laughs> but I was really, I was enjoying everything and you were saying sorry earlier because you were taking time but actually no, I was reading th through the comments and there were actually some people who were also sharing their, uh, their experiences and it was so nice reading. Let me just read some of them. So one of them said, I'm a long time Sony user currently using Sony A7C to take pictures of my cat Uno the Onano on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> that is same. I have to attack this name. This is it. What do you guys think? Meron ba tayong prize? Kahit consolation prize para sa best pet nick team? No. Oh my god, this is becoming ah! a thing. Okay, I want to be friends with Uno the Onano. And Uno the Onano has an Instagram. Bonizi is looking at it right now for everyone watching. <laughs> and, 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 okay. Sorry. Can Uno the Onano be friends with Salem? He's a, he's a cat. Sure. <laughs> and you know, and so, and some others, because you were saying earlier about the experience and how they and how um, our our pets have brought comfort to our lives. And someone, one of them actually shared then. My Selena, Selena shared in the comment section. My cats changed my routine. Uh, especially during the pandemic, can't imagine life without them now. Taking photos of them is a struggle, but I enjoy every bit of it. Isn't that nice that you guys are sharing it also? But we encourage you to keep sharing, guys, because if we have two more topics to to um, discuss later on, and we'll, we're happy to read your comments. 
And also, one of them has a Sun Twist 21 cat and dog owner here from Jinky Queenie and our much cared for strays. Nako, gusto ko yung mga nag adopt din. Um, very close to my heart kasi we adopted also our cat. So that's really nice of you guys. And let me end. To specifically to so a lot of people, you know, I'm I'm reading it, so I was excited. Hey. See, if if you guys could also say hi to the people who said hello to Soba, Shirley, Nijo, Na, Nijo Rohe, Jepoy Garcia, Camiana Danas Barcelona, Won Hyuk Jang, Kate Silo, and Milagros Castillo. They were saying hi to Soba earlier. Oh, hello to all of you. We'll try to get a list. Uh, we'll try to get a list later on, maybe before we end the stream, to say hi to everyone. And Kendra, before we proceed, I just wanted to uh, respond a bit to the viewer who said that uh, she loved taking photos of her cat. Yun nga struggle lang siya. Uh, thank you so much for sharing that story because even we can relate to that. And I'm sure everyone, yeah. all pet owners can relate to that na, syempre yung napopost lang yung pinakamagandang picture. Pero para sa isang magandang picture, baka may 999 pictures na blurred <laughs> na hindi na, na biglang wala na doon sa spot yung uh, pet natin. Yeah. And I'm so happy that you say that you enjoy the struggle. Kasi yun nga, Photography, uh, I think, should be a moment, uh, a moment with your pet as well, and that those moments with our pets are moments to enjoy and love. They shouldn't be moments of frustration. So for those who have, uh, who have a difficult time taking uh, photos of their pets, because the pets need to be able to cooperate with us. <laughs> enjoy that moment. Eventually, we know you will get that perfect photography moment with your pet. So can we can we declare now, okay, that we are having a pole party? That's a perfect term. Perfect. I must say. <laughs> because all all I can see on the comments are you know dogs and cats greeting each other. <laughs> so we're having a pole party. <laughs> They're so cute. One of them said, Nina also said, Sony user also using Sony to take George dot the Frenchie photos on Instagram. Super cute, guys. Keep sharing them to us because we're reading the comment section and not just us, other pet owners or even just pet lovers who's looking to, you know, maybe adopt or get a pet themselves. So, nakaka-encourage din yung session natin. I really like it. And also, a big shout out to our Sony ambassador, Jiggy Alejandrino, who's watching us tonight. Hello. Nice. So, hello, hello, Jiggy. And via Nazarene Pansalan, doing a picture is a struggle at the end. Seeing crazy faces of the Bengal he 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 or only seeing the legs. Oh, oh, ano man? Minsa na pa ko gulo nilang kira pa kine. The good thing about it is that our next speaker can enlighten us about how to take easy pictures. But before I call them, I, I, before I call our next speaker, I just wanted to quickly ask just one question lang to Mikael. Um, what is Soba's favorite toy? I know, I know you guys have. <coughs> You know, spoken about Soba a lot, and siguro yung mga followers then there, your you, your followers are also interested to know. Ano ang nilalaro ni Soba? <laughs> okay, uh, Soba for a tiny dog. Okay, she's uh she's, she's very rough. She's, she's very rough. she's very rough with her toys. So we we I don't know, we progressed from very cute stuffed toys, which lasted maybe around five ten minutes, to bigger more durable stuff toys mm -hmm. which still did not last very long maybe a couple of weeks long yes. and now we have an indestructible rubber snake yes the rubber snake is the only toy na hindi pa nasisira ni soba and this is the one na and fyi ito yung snake na pinang paprank mo na ilalagay mo dun sa closet ni bones para yeah. matakot siya <laughs> nahanap ni soba and then it just became her favorite toy it, it's so a few months na no it's so funny because she will just randomly get this rubber toy snake and then she'll happily like bring it along to you and look at you with loving eyes like ito ako ito yung ahas na laruan ko oh, oh. ay mukhang realistic yung snake so mukhang may pinatay siya may uh, tinuka siyang ano ahas tapos daladala niya around the house yeah so. soba as cute as she, she is hindi masyadong cute yung favorite toy niya yeah <laughs> Yun yung parang teaser guys no nakita parang nakita ko yan i was i was also searching for possible toys sa cat 
namin kasi mahilig sila dun sa mga parang basta anything that is you know gumagalaw <laughs> yes. and gumagalaw they love it so and speaking of toys you know there are various plushy and squeaky toys or balls available at Bow and Wow so you can order this happily I'm so happy to say that it's online because a lot of you guys you know as flashed on your screen right now but there are you know times when we don't want to go out because we only need to go out kapag kakailangan talaga so you can order this online through their online store it's at shop.bowandwow.com.ph so check natin yan kung anong toys yung meron yung pwede natin makuha from this uh from this website <coughs> exciting okay so a uh, short reminder to our viewers, Sony Bawano are giving away treats for us pet parents. So you can join our ongoing raffle. All you have to do is register. It's as simple as that. Go to the description box, find the link and register. And in your screens right now, those are the prizes you can actually get. I That I wish I also get, but you know, <laughs> that's for another story. All right, so... I was telling you guys earlier, a lot of you, nakikita ko pa rin sa mga comments right now, thank you for sharing and keep sharing them, we'll get to that later on, that um, it's hard sometimes to take photos and videos of uh, of our pets and we all relate to that. That's why our next presenter, Nigel, will tell us how to take easy, will teach us rather how to take easy portrait photos of you and your pet. Nigel, take it away. Hi Kendra. You know, we we have the same sentiments now uh it's it's really hard to take photos of pets i think you all agree no i think sino mikael then can also agree uh i'm not a pet photographer that's that's number one okay uh i also have hard time um shooting my pet so i have a, a cat here in my room and you know if you're a cat owner they're the boss wala kang magagawa kung ayaw nila I know Mikael and Megan can also relate to this. And um, just like you, I'm also having a hard time shooting uh, the photos of the pets. But you know, on, on our past uh, workshop last time, it really hit me when Coach Francis said, take photos of your pets because they're not going to live that long. So enjoy the, the moment. So I have a cat here. He's already awake. If you can hear him munching, he's already eating. Later on... You will hear his voice. I don't know if you're hearing him now, but you know he, he's the boss here. But <laughs> if, if 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 he passes by, dito sa harap ko, that's his turf. Okay, I can't do something about it. Okay, so uh, I have a person cat uh, named JJ, and then I have a couple of cats here at home. But uh, I've mentioned that um, tonight I'm just gonna share how to take easy pet portraits. Okay, so I know I've been uh, I've been uh, working. Uh, professionally as an advertising photographer so I challenged myself so this morning I went to call on a friend who's who happened to be a priest and he has a Belgian Malinois five months and uh, we took a stroll this morning so all the things that I will share to you today are taken just this morning and uh, today so I'm gonna discuss just shortly how to uh, take easy pet portraits using uh, the Sony system okay this is just uh, gonna be Quick, you know, I, I I really like what Mikael said a while ago. Na Sony lets us enjoy the moments. That's number one. Because I've also experienced na even on phone, maga unlock ka, tapos you you turn on the, the camera. So it takes a while to to boot up. But using the Sony system, mas mabilis, no? So the the moment, the the spontaneity of the moment, you'll be able to to capture it and. Today, I experienced that because I'm not a pet photographer, actually. I was actually nervous that, okay, I have a workshop tonight. Kaya ko kayang mag-produce ng photos using uh, these tips. But um, the first tip that I think I'm going to share with you is if you want to take really great uh, pet portraits is to use natural light. Mikael has mentioned this a while ago, na parang pag sunset, ang ganda ng ilaw. It's just magical. It's, it's, just, uh, it's just different, you know? And... The animals parang, and the outdoors parang meron silang parang natural fit. They, they, they are made for each other. Not because that the light is better, but also parang our pets perk up kapag lumabas sila. I think uh, a lot of you can relate na pag linlabas mo sila sa backyard or even just the, the balcony, parang may something it, it brings them on steroids, diba? So, 
Um, this this photo right here, yeah, and taken this morning. This is Reno. He's a, sabi ko nga, a five month old Belgian Malinois of Father Al. Okay, that's my boss. He's already calling me. So um, this is uh, sorry. This is Reno. So we shot this uh, on the on um, a park near us. It was taken with the Sony A7C and the 85 one point eight. There's something magical when you use natural light. Hindi siya pilit. And there's a behavior in our pets and in him because, syempre, I'm a, a cat person, kumbaga. Um, but pag nilagay mo sila outdoor, meron siyang something na ibinibigay sa'yo. And I also had the chance to take a, a moment uh, to shoot uh, the two, that's Father Al and that's Reno over there, a portrait over sunrise, you know. There's something to it na parang nagiging uh, picture-perfect moment. Parang ganan. Okay, sorry, Mikael, I'm gonna say this, but uh, it's a poment. <laughs> sorry, corny. <laughs> okay, but but, <laughs> but there's a there's 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 a picture perfect poment triple P. Okay, uh, and that's that's the first tip that I want to share with you. Use natural light. It gives magic. The second tip that I'm gonna share with you is. Focus on the eyes. And that's very important. This is JJ here. And that's my pet cat who stays in my room. And that was taken, I think, at 1.30 p.m. this afternoon, right before we did our pre-production. It was just, you know, hanging in there. You know, if you're a, a, a cat parent, you know that it's their territory. Okay? Kung saan sila magpuesto, ikaw ang mag adjust <laughs> I know you can relate to that. And, and this guy owns my room. No, it's just the boss. Okay, so but uh, kanina, it so happened that he likes sunlight. He likes to stay near the window. And he likes that particular ray of sun kahit bandang 1.30pm. Now, there's something to it that he really likes. So, I was able to to capture this photograph and I had an, another moment with him. Ito. And it was taken with the Sony ZV-1. So, the point-and-shoot camera that Megan will explain uh, later, the, the features. But it's a small camera and it has IAF. So, just imagine. I know if you're a cat parent, again, ang hirap nilang hulihin. And it, just imagine the, the, the hard time that you will get and you will experience on capturing him or her kapag nakaupo siya. Titingin siya, tapos tatanggal na siya. But you know, using the IAF continuous eye autofocus of the Sony system, you'll get moments like this. Yep, he wants water, so he's just you know <laughs> right there. And then, so that's that's the second thing that I want to share with you guys. Okay, always focus on the eyes. That's very important. I think it's it's basic when it comes to portraiture as well. But uh, when you're when you're taking pet portraits, then maganda rin kung nakafocus ang mata. Number th oh sorry there's there's another photo of Reno right here natural light plus you know focus on the eyes right there the third tip is to use a large f stop or a low aperture at yung f stop na nakikita ninyo sa sa camera the lower the number of course like f 2.8 f 1.8 f 1.4 then you'll get that creamy blurry background parang instant pogi, di ba? Parang it, it makes your subject pop and it the out of focus background, parang I know hindi naman tayo nakakalabas ngayon, but you know if you have that out of focus background, parang natatago mo yung clutter, nadadaya mo kumbaga. No, and again, uh, a photo of uh, Reno over here. Yeah, so you can see him. Pagod na siya dito eh. So tumakbo kami, we had, we had a run this morning uh, with the uh, uh, Father Al, so when he was resting, he was just, you know, looking around, and you can hear my boy, <laughs> he wants to, wants to go out, okay, but uh, it, it happened, it, it happens, we're on a, a pet photography workshop, there he, there he is, I want to bring out, but, um, hello JJ, <laughs> okay, so go, Going back, um, this was taken on the Sony Alpha 7C and an 85mm f1.8 lens, a natural light, and you can see the the, the beautiful photograph, the beautiful background, and then I'm going to put this on a full screen holder. On a full yeah, screen. Yeah, so we can see. Yeah, so we can see. Reno. 
ang photo and ni Rino again when we were walking and here he is so again if you notice parang nabanggit din ni Mikael kanina you notice parang nabanggit din ni Mikael kanina when you select animal IEF on a social when you select animal IEF on a social system it would really track the animal so even it would really track the animal you tell the camera to focus on the animal's eyes you tell the camera to focus on the animal's eyes so this is what happened kanina when we were so this is what happened kanina when we were so I just press the so I just press the camera to focus on Rino and tell the camera to focus on Rino and it follows that he is still you can see focus. that he is still and in another portrait focus. of him and in another and portrait of him standing here and medyo, standing here medyo ano na siya medyo, medyo pagod na siya medyo ano na siya uh, medyo pagod na siya uh, dito yeah so um, we just had a couple of uh, problem lang but um, I think we're good so use a large um, use a large f-stop Okay, so that's that's the tip that uh, and uh, those um, large f-stops f1.8 are available dun sa kanina nga pinakitang lente ni ni um, ni Mikael the the new uh, Sony lenses that we have they're still uh, about to arrive in the Philippines but they're small they're compact and they're they're able to take great uh, photos if you want uh, a low f-stop like f1.8 so that's my third tip okay uh, use a large uh, aperture now uh, probably meron meron tayong question no how how were you able to parang um, let the dog face the camera no so this is actually what i i learned from um, let me bring him here uh, from um, coach francis last week it's it's you hold the toy above the camera so instantly meron makukuha mo yung attention niya no so those toys and then, pag humarap siya, if you focus na agad ni, ni Sony, and then that's it. You have a great photograph. So, this is again, Reno. Next tip is take action shots. Ayan. So, it's not just the static shots. Take action shots. Um, Mikael showed a while ago yung parang jumping shot ni, ni Soba. And um, knowing Reno, kanina is very playful, but... Uh, Yun ang minsan na problem natin. I know you will agree with me. No? Parang, ang hirap kuhanan ng action shot. Pag tumatakbo, or kapag tumatalon, ang hirap i-focus. Diba? And that's a common problem. But using the Sony system, using the, the animal IAF, again, it tracks the animals perfectly. I'll give you an example. Ayan. So, naglalakad uh, kami kanina. We're walking fast. And he was very excited. I think this was, this was on the first five minutes of us uh, walking. Uh, I told them, okay, I'll go about 10-15 uh, steps ahead and then I'll take a photo. So, I was expecting that definitely medyo may hirapan ang camera because look at the color of Reno. Reno is color brown and then color black. Diba? Ang hirap i-focus niyan. And then, black pink shorts ng, uh, ng, uh, ng kanyang owner. Tapos, on the background, meron pang uh, trunks. Uh, diba? So, uh, but I was able to, to, to take this photo all I did this turn on the animal IAF and press the eye of Reno and then it tracked him. And there's another example. Ito. Ayan, he was really running here. <laughs> Meron akong uh, parang kahoy kanina. And then nilagay ko lang sa ano? Nilagay ko lang sa nilagay ko lang sa taas ng camera. I think parang bungang kahoy lang eh. And then he was he was he was very interested and then he was running. At since bata pa siya, sobrang bilis niya talaga. And uh, there, there, there's another example that uh, uh, I will share. So later, no, makikita niya yung uh, action shot na kay Reno. But just imagine how quick and responsive the Sony camera is. Plus, of course, the lenses. So this was taken on a 50mm f1.8 lens in which I have it here. Ito siya. So this is the A7C and uh, see, it's small lang. Hindi siya intimidating for, for dogs and, and for cats. So, ayun siya. The Alpha 7C. Yeah. And which brings me to, to the last part of uh, the tip that I'm gonna share with you is, of course, use good equipment. I know we have smartphones, but, you know, we know we love your pets. I know you love your pets. Uh, pag may sakit sila, parang may sakit na rin tayo. When, when, uh, uh, when they pass away, masakit sa atin. So, the, the moments that we, we have... Uh, uh, with them are really precious no? and um, uh, it uh, really touches me 
uh, when it comes to you know losing some pets because I've lost some pets too and especially ngayong pandemic you know pag minsan wala na tayong makausap kakausapin natin sila you know we tell our heartaches we tell everything we get emotional sometimes with them and you know you capture these moments ang, ang saya lang and uh, that's also what I learned from Coach Francis uh, last time so Use the good equipment. So, what we recommend in tonight's workshop are, are two cameras, actually. Uh, the two cameras that uh, we recommend, which uh, I have here, is, of course, the Alpha 7C, in which you can see it's focusing right now, and the super cute ZV-1. Ito. So, si almost same lang sila. Oh. So, this is the ZV-1, a more compact camera. And, of course, it's, it's flip screen. And sabi, sabi ni Megan, she loves it kasi when you, when you turn it on automatically, uh, when you flip the screen automatically, mag, uh, ano yan, mag, uh, pa power on. And then the Alpha 7C, small, not intimidating, okay? You're familiar with the small form factor, but you know, the difference is its functionality. So, you, not just it is able to capture, of course, your, your, uh, your, uh, your pets, but you as well. So, if you want to create content like Mikael, and a lot of, I think, the guys here are, you know, have uh, the Instagram channels and the YouTube channels. So if you want to take good uh, pictures and videos, then try this. Uh, you can um, search for them. The Sony Alpha 7C, which is available in two colors. And uh, the ZV-1, also available in different colors. Okay, so use good equipment. And we've been mentioning about the... The, fo the focus systems of uh, the Sony uh, Alpha, IAF, and then the touch screen, you know, touch focus. And I've, men I've been mentioning about the IAF. Okay, this is the example that I'm talking about. So let me just put it on full screen. Uh, hold on, I'm just look for the layer. Okay, so this was Reno. Okay. So this by, was, by the uh, way, people, Reno, these are all JPEGs. By, by the way, people, out these are all JPEGs. The straight out just, uh, from um, the camera. Put my SD card just, uh, on my um, computer. Put no my SD card on because my we have computer computer tonight. No time to edit. But I was we really have tonight. impressed. By but I was so really impressed. You can see on his face so how excited. You can see on his face how excited he is. And how to be honest, na tapo din ako dito. To be honest, he was really, you know, running papunta sa akin. But I was, I was really happy that. I was able to, to um, I was able to to capture this. Okay, so this was um, the photo, and then the responsiveness of um, the responsiveness of the um, camera. So this was taken on the Sony Alpha Seven C, and uh, eighty five mm f uh, one point eight. So these two cameras are uh, available at the Sony Philippines. Facebook uh, uh, link you can see and of course there is the Sony website in which you will see so these are the recommended cameras for um, photography the Alpha 7C and uh, ZV-1 so I hope Kendra and um, Mikael and Megan you learned something on this uh, really short presentation oh of course you know what I was thinking all throughout is because some people, they went here because they are poor parents and they want to capture. And I think Mikael beautifully touched on that earlier because he's also, he's, he's been taking pictures with Megan. But you, as someone, you mentioned earlier that you are not a, um, yeah, you don't usually take pet photos per se, personally. But mm -hmm. if it got a nod from someone who's who's not taking who's not usually taking pet photos then it means it can also be used from um you it can also be used other than pet photo photography which is i think is very nice because when we do purchase something it's um it's of course you know the priority is for something else but you can also use it to others because remember it's an investment and you you guys were saying earlier we need a good equipment so we are to invest in something also that is good diba so i really like that part because um marami dito you know i'm actually curious because ang dami nagko comment kanina Nigel when you guys were um were discussing things and ang dami na they were saying um now that they have they usually they usually just take photos of their pets when they're asleep so i'm sure given that <laughs> given, 
given the things na na, na share ni Mikael and ni Nigel, I'm sure kahit na hindi tulog, kahit pa nagtatatakbo, nagtatatalon yung mga um, pets natin, then we're able to then we're able to take and capture all those moments also. So ang gaganda, ang dami active sa chat actually. Sabi nila sila Dorky Cat, sila Tracy, they were sharing the struggle also. So we just wanted to say hi to you guys. Sila Harry at Kirby. They were late daw kasi they came from a play date. <laughs> so, Grabe so ah. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's really a pop party. It's a pop party. Oh. It's a party. Yeah. <laughs> I know, boy. <laughs> All those nicknames. <laughs> I need a minute. Okay. All right. So, um, you know, oh, someone also reacted. Nina was saying one of the reasons I chose Sony because of the animal IAF. It's the best. Very yeah. useful. Shoot, makulit pet. Mm. Yes. Yes. Very true. Okay. So. Oh, Lucky Coco is also saying we use our favorite toy from Bow and Wow to to bribe them. <laughs> Without it, there's no decent picture. Oh no, Lucky Coco, you should. What toy is this? I should, you know, get this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kendra, before I forget, lang no. Um, also this morning, uh, sabi nga ni Coach Francis, don't forget to reward them for good behavior. So even just uh, recognition and of course, uh. Pet treats, di ba? So don't forget to to uh, reward them for their for the good uh, behavior. And it's it's best if you have, of course, natural pet treats, di ba? Not artificial, and but you know, natural, natural pet treats. All natural. And speaking of Coach Francis, you want to say hi to Coach Francis, who's watching and supporting us Yay. tonight. Hi, Coach. Hi, Coach Francis. Hello. I miss. I miss the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi pa kaya ni Soba yun. <laughs> gawin, natin, gawin natin kay Bones. <laughs> so cute. He learned, a, he learned a lot daw. Thank you, Coach, for uh, for being with us tonight also. And, uh, you know, before I call the last, we're, we're down to our last last topic tonight. And what I wanted to ask naman, because it's very active yung chat and we really like it because we enjoy reading it. They keep saying hi to each other. So, sabi ko nga kanina, very embracing talaga yung community na to. So, one, another thing I want to ask while Megan would be giving her presentation is that why are you guys here? Like, what was your intention going to this workshop? Because we're curious to know, di ba? Kasi, are you guys pet owners already? I saw a lot of them are already. But maybe there are also who's here because they want to, of course, purchase a camera. Or they want to know what treats they can, can give to their uh, to their, to their their pets, right? So, um, and we're all learning so much. So, giving all the natural snacks they were telling us earlier, we can also get it from Bao and Wow. Kasi earlier, napag-usapan natin where we can get yung, ano, di ba, yung ating mga laruan or toys for the pets. But in the shop that we shared the earlier, yung website na shinery namin, if you can flash it in the screen, thank you so much. We can also shop in here all natural pet food and treats. So, marami, marami pala tayo makikita sa website na to. Akala ko kanina. <laughs> Toys lang, but no. Thank you so much for you know, um, learn for letting us know so that we we know where to get good stuff for our, uh, for our pet. Yes, Kendra. Our and speaking of Bow and Wow, they are giving away treat treats and gift hey, boxes for everyone yeah. who's joining us tonight. For everyone who's joining us tonight, na meron sa sali sa raffle. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, just wanna you know test if you're awake and you know. Check if nakikinig ako no, okay. No, but yes, thank you, Nedge, for for reminding me that we are about to close yung ating raffle. So if you guys have not registered yet and you've been with us for quite some time, you can win these prizes that are shared in your screen right now headphones and premium all natural pet treats courtesy of Sony Philippines and of course Bow and Wow. So go ahead before we close them, register right now. And it, the registration link is found in the description box. Just register. That's all you need to do. And later on we'll get to announce the winners. Okay. So Megan, we are ready for you because we've talked about 
how to take pictures already and then easy may it be indoors or outdoors now we want to hear naman sana Megan about videos if you can help us with that we'll be so grateful Sure, why not coconut? Let's start this <laughs> this pography workshop. So earlier, Mikael and Nigel talked about photos, but a lot of us have been getting into video taking. Now that we want to capture the moment, we have devices that can really capture, you know, crisp uh crisp quality ng images and videos. Uh, this is something that I really want to dive into. So just to go back, let's start with the slides, please. Just to go, just to start everything off, um, Mikael and I started the vlog back in 2013, 2014 when I was on my journey in Miss World and he had just bought his camera at sabi niya, Tara Bones, let's capture the moments na nagta-travel ka, na nagta travel ako and that's something that we would just do on our trips just take videos kasi ang dami nagtatanong sa amin ano ba tong ginagawa niyo pag nagta-travel kayo what is your itinerary and sa totoo lang fofo we gave the itinerary one time and after that we were like nakakatamad <laughs> magbigay ng itinerary every single time. So from then on that's when we decided to really vlog about the places that we would go to and what we would be doing per place that we would go to. So with that Mikael was the main person behind the camera. He would take all the videos, he would think of all the concepts, he would do all the editing, while I was the person in front of the camera just relaxing, you know, sige, ikaw magbuhat ng gamit, ikaw magcharge. And eventually, Fofo, what happened? Napagod po ako, <laughs> everyone. So uh, I, there's, a story, there's a story I always tell. Um, I think this is a trip uh, out west and I was shooting the whole day. Um, I was still getting learning how to edit. I was learning how to maximize all the features of my cameras. And I was learning how to take shots, different angles. And I was throughout the day. And at the end of the day, I was just wasted. Bagsak na bagsak ako. Mm -hmm. I was so tired. And then I look over the bones. And so brown fresh niya. <laughs> gusto pa niya lumabas, gusto pa niya gumimik. And I was like, Bakit ang taas ng energy niya? Yun pala, when it came to vlogging, that's when I realized, wala pala siyang ginagawa. Wala akong contribution. Wala, hindi niya ako tinutulungan. Shooting, conceptualizing, editing, editing even the uh, the little things, uh, dumping your files, charging your cameras, Batteries, yeah. um, uh, packing it up and packing it down. So all those things, ako yung gumagawa. And then I said, Bones, Teka lang, teka lang. Lumalabas ka rin naman sa vlog. Mukhang forever naman tayo. Tulungan mo naman ako. <laughs> and with that, we decided to get a second camera. Because of course, Mikael still wanted to take his artsy shots and he still had a story in mind. And while he was doing that, of course, efficiency is key always when it comes to our workflow. Dapat ako, meron din akong camera. So the deal here was that Mikael would be taking all the wide shots and then I would be taking all the detail shots. Kasi sayang naman kung kukuha ka ng, kunwari, si Soba. Soba is enjoying a new park, di ba? Pero what about the park does she enjoy? Kaya nandyan ako para kuhanan ko ano yung mga small details na ine-enjoy ni Soba doon. So going to the next slide, we had to figure out what kind of camera user I was. Knowing Mikael and hearing from Mikael's uh, presentation earlier, all of you guys know that he is such a techie. Alam niya ang mga technical details when it comes to all these devices. Alam niya off the bat, he can just get it and understand it as soon as he reads the description of something. Whereas, Ako naman, it really takes me a while to get used to a certain device. I really have to start using it consistently and more often than not, I'll end up asking Mikael all these questions. So we decided, okay, kailangan easy to use ang camera para sa akin and at the same time, kailangan lightweight ang camera because... I no, I mean, as a girl, when we travel, you know, marami tayong dala-dala sa backpack natin, mga makeup. Now, I bring my keyboard around when I travel. So, mabigat yung mga yon. And I wanted to make sure that if we have a camera lightweight and it's easy for me to take 
in and out of my bag. And with that, we had decided at that time we were using the RX cameras. But since we've already upgraded our Sony cameras, the camera that I use now is the ZV-1. Okay, so what do I love about the ZV-1? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. But right off the bat, I can already tell you that, yes, it is a very lightweight camera. And I also have a grip on my camera, just like Fofo, but mine is a little smaller. It's not... Um, Wireless. wireless like yours earlier but ako personally i love that it is connected so that i don't have to worry about oh paano ko to iko paano ko to connect diba i mean i for other people that aren't as techy you just want something that is plug and play magagamit mo na siya agad agad so it also has the features where you can zoom in and out and i am going to magically turn on my camera yes nag on na siya that is a super cool feature it. by the way uh, <laughs> can i just say uh nigel thanks for pointing that out that is an amazing feature that um it can turn on by flipping out the screen because as a vlogger oh my god like not having the to fiddle and find the button the mm -hmm. power button and just getting that big lcd screen flipping yes. it out and being ready that really, really makes the workflow more efficient. So shout out to Sony for that. Good Thanks, job Sony. on that one. Okay, so what I love the most about the vertical grip is it adds stability. Because when it comes to our pets, malikot sila. So at least for those na medyo pasmado yung kamay, katulad ko, pag medyo kailangan mabilisan ng galawan, this is such a helpful thing. So ayan o, very steady. In wow. Imbis na ito na bones, kailangan steady, steady yung ka, shot. Oh, yun ang laging sinasabi sa akin ni Mikael. <laughs> My hands are never steady. So thank you, Sony, because this is such a blessing in my life. Okay, and just to, just to add, just to add, so the grip adds, um, it, it adds stability, mm -hmm. and then you turn on the active steady shot, or just the steady shot, depending on the level. Wait, wait, one second, that's I'm part sorry. of my charva. Sorry, sorry, I'm excited ako. I'm not gonna talk okay. anymore. I will ask so you. So ba, you didn't tell me to keep quiet. You know, I enjoy ni Fofo kasi talaga. Like, he's such a techie. So, Fofo, let me be a techie for a little bit. Okay. okay. I'm just so, gonna <laughs> play with Soba. So, when it comes to the grip, you can see here, I'm going to do a little close-up. Ito yung zoom in and out. You have record here and then you can take a photo all in this grip. So you don't need to worry about what is on the camera or where it is and you can just focus on your pet. So I'm going to show you guys the screen. Sorry, there's no memory card in right now, but at least you can see the screen and I'm going to use the vertical grip to zoom in on my face. Hello, Soba. You're the star of the show, so that puts you naka focus yan. And then you can also zoom out. And then you can record and take photos from the grip itself. So now let's move on to the next slide to talk about what Fofo was very excited about. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we'll get into that. Okay, so just before we get into the details of the ZV-1, what's really important to Mikael and I is really capturing the moments because we don't know how long we're going to have that moment for, especially when it comes to our fur babies because they could be in such a cute little position na parang, oh my gosh, sana hindi siya gumalaw. And I love being able to capture the moments in just a second. Like you saw earlier, I was able to turn on the ZV-1 just by flipping open the screen. And, you know, I just love that I don't have to wait for Soba and she doesn't have to like wait for me to like take that photo. So the next slide is actually a moment that I was able to capture. Because you see Soba, she always makes this face. Parang a uh, stoic yung look ni Soba. And when you call her for a snack, she'll give you that shocked face. And Mikael was able to make that face in just the right time. And I was able to capture that moment then and there. Soba, let's show Soba. Soba, you want a snack? Oh, she's looking at me. Look, with the Soba, here. You want a snack? Here, here, where, here, where? <laughs> and that's how we're able to capture the moments with her and give her that shocked face. Yeah. Okay. We'll give her a snack later. Yeah, we'll give her a snack later. Sorry, Don't Baba. Worry. After, after we work and have our workshops, we're always able to give her a snack. So we go into the next slide na. 
And the next slide, before anything else, make sure that you guys download the Imaging Edge mobile app. If you don't already have it, we're going to be talking about it later, so at least I'll give you guys time to download it so that later on, for all the Sony users out there, we can already dive into paano ba ito gamitin with our camera. So download that right now, and we'll be talking about the features of this UV-1 while it's downloading. Okay. How do we shoot videos for our fur babies? And I think at this time, we just want them to be in their cutest form. We just want videos that we can really be proud of and share to other people, especially usong uso talaga ngayon, ang mga Instagram for pets. Pets of Instagram, kumbaga. So Soba actually has an Instagram. If you haven't followed her, it's at Soba Doba Daes. And we'll be following some very interesting name Instagrams later on. Because I think sa ngayon tayo palang yung fina follow ni Soba. Ano Soba? Magpa follow ka na. Follow me po. <laughs> Soba Doba Daes. So we go into the next slide. Okay, so the first thing that I mentioned earlier is the very angle LCD screen that has the vertical grip, which we already mentioned earlier. But one cool thing about it is the bang ergonomic shot. So you can adjust it to different levels and angles. And yes, it also becomes a tripod, just like the grip that Fofo showed earlier. Mas mababa nga lang to. So when you are taking videos of your fur baby, syempre they're smaller than us, di ba? So if you have a tripod like this, and then you put it on a table just beside the bed that your fur baby is sleeping at, you can sneakily take videos and photos na hindi maingay, na hindi nagagalaw, at stable na stable ang camera mo. So this is my trick when it comes to taking photos of Salem especially. Salem is our cat. He's a black cat and he's very masungit. So if he hears something or if he actually feels a camera close to his face, nako, aalis yan or tatalikod siya. And, you know, it's really rare for me to be able to take photos of him na maganda yung ilaw. So having this grip really helps me take those unguarded moments of Salem. Okay, so the next slide naman, since we already discussed this pala kanina, oh my god, pinangunahan ko rin si, sarili ko, Fofo. Sorry, pinangunahan kita That's kanina. That's okay, I like it. Keep going. I like, I like, I like it when Bonizi uh, geeks out because when I first met her, uh, sa totoo lang, wala siyang pakialam sa tech specs, mga ganyan, yung mga technical specs ng mga oh, gadgets. That... Pero ngayon, napag-uusapan niya. So if you notice, I'm looking at her and I'm like, haba? <laughs> Alam yung sinasabi niya. Actually, I'm the, the I'm the type of camera user na I just want to take a photo or I just want to take a video. It didn't really mean anything to me before if, you know, I had like a cool feature or kung maganda yung shot ko, basta nandun sa frame yung kinukuhanan ko, okay na yon. All right, let's move on na to the next slide. But I can show you guys more features. So this is exactly what Fofo was talking about kanina. This is the active steady shot. And in this video, it actually I actually show you how you can select it. Select it. So you press the function. And before I would just say FN <laughs> function. Yes. Diba? So function. <laughs> siya. And I would ask Fofo, Fofo, what is FN? So I didn't know these terms before, but thanks to Fofo, my techie husband, he teaches me these things. So active steady shot is really good for when you are taking videos na fast movement. Tulad ng dogs ni Nigel kanina na kinukuha na niya, sobrang bilis tumakbo. It gives you a steadier shot. And katulad ko na pasmado ang kamay, samahan mo pa yan ng vertical grip na to. Lalong magiging steady at smooth ang shot mo. So the trick for this is you don't always have to take the video na upright yung camera. This is actually cool if your dog is running around. You will flip the camera like this. Of course, you can fix it in editing. And pag ganon, uh, how do you call this? Parang your fault. You, you track a, them. You have a follow track shot. So this is really cool. You get really close to your pet. O di ba parang videographer level na. <laughs> Videographer levels na to, and then you follow your pet while they are running, and I think it will capture a really cute moment with them, especially their furry feet when they're running around in the grass or in your home. 
I like that Bonizi. And just to add, uh, just to add something else, if you guys want to try what Bonizi said, wherein you're holding the camera close to the floor mm -hmm. while your pet is running and you're following your pet with Acti's active steady shot on, mm -hmm. if you use the highest frame rate of your camera or 120 frames per second, I think the ZV-1 has even yeah, a higher yeah. one. Uh, when you play that back, that's going to look super cool yeah. because it's as if your camera is running with your pet. So it's something to try out and experiment. So for those with Sony cameras, that's something something that you can do after this workshop. What's really cool also about Pography is that there are so many different things that you can do. Usually since mas mataas tayo sa mga pets natin, we tend to take photos that are pababa Shooting down. and what we can see is just their heads so we don't really get a feel of our pets bodies or we don't really get to see them in their cute fluffy forms so it's always nice to try taking photos from a lower angle or at their eye level because i noticed that the other day when i was taking a photo of soba parang her head looked like it was floating and i'm not a photographer i'm not a professional photographer but i noticed that when i brought the camera down to eye level I could get a grasp more of her body language and I could see na parang, ah, okay, measure she's getting ready to play now and I can see that because I've gone to a lower angle. And now we move on to the next tip from Bonizi, the boke. So for those that don't know, boke means blurred background. I don't know if that's a direct translation or where boke comes from, but I just know na pag sinabing boke, ibig sabihin nakafocus yan sa subject mo and the background will be a little bit blurred. For the ZV-1, and I think dito rin sa grip, na pinakita ni Fofo kanina, you have the C1 button which I have encircled here on the camera and this is from the top position. So when you press C1, well, you see it here. When you press C1, it automatically goes into boke mode. So you don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, ano bang aperture yung gagawin ko? How far do I have to be from my subject, etc., etc. You just click C1 and the magic will happen. So I have a video that I took of Soba, and in the beginning, I have already activated C1 or the Boke um, feature. And then later on, you will notice here, clear na pareho yung background and Soba. So tinanggal ko na yung Boke feature. Yeah, and Boniz, Boniz just to add, uh, when it comes to when it comes to Boke, uh, as Nigel mentioned a while mm -hmm. ago, it helps make your subject stand out yes. in frame whether it's photo or video but but some people really like having a very deep depth of field mm. where the tree behind your dog is just as in focus as the dog yeah. itself so of course you have to play with your uh, with your aperture and the f-stop mm -hmm. to be able to capture that kind of uh uh, that kind of photo but it just goes to show that there are many different kinds of preferences and so it's nice to be able to try things out so you have the bokeh mode in the zv1 and if you like it turned on and turned off depending on the kind of shot that you want it's nice and easier to experiment with it on the zv1 and what's really cool about the ZV-1 is the fast hybrid uh, autofocus and it lets you switch from where your focus point is. So you can go directly from your pet to probably the toy in the background to give a little story to tell when it comes to the videos that you're taking. Now we move on to yeah. our next tip. And just an added tip for, um, well, I guess an added story. For those who have been using camera systems for a very long mm -hmm. time now, it's amazing how much uh, autofocus systems have grown yeah. and improved over time. Each year, since I said I was using the RX100 mm -hmm. Mark II or Mark III, but, um, I haven't, Bonizi and I have not experienced focus hunting in the ZV-1 or the A7C. Yeah. So for those who are younger and have never ever experienced <laughs> focus hunting, uh, good for you. But this is when the camera starts moving back and forth because he doesn't know where he's going to be focus. So systems, the Sony systems have always iterated on their focus systems and happy to let you guys know that sobrang on point ng autofocus yeah. systems na ngayon, that you can choose whether it's human eye or animal eye. So it's just amazing how much convenience that brings, especially topography users like all of us.
All right. Hello. I was like, Fofo, what's going to happen? I actually have a surprise. Well, hindi na rin siya surprise, but I'm getting together the surprise. Can you make kwento real quick about... Okay, go. Get your surprise together. But yes, um, we've been really happy with these uh, with these cameras. And there are so many different features that you can make the most out of. And as I made kwento, Bonizi was never really a techie person or a geeky person but she learned over time so for those who also are intimidated by technology or by highfalutin words it's always easy to just start with the very basics Mm -hmm. and you will learn over time the more you practice and the more you go through these experiences eventually you will learn as long as natutuwa ka sa mga shots at clips na nakuha mo over time that will naturally come I also learned that you don't always need to start with the best or like the highest end because at first I thought oh yeah I'm gonna take photos of Soba I have to use like the best equipment or I have to use the most expensive equipment but at the end of the day would I be able to actually use all these great you know expensive equipment the answer is no I wouldn't be able to because I wouldn't have the time or the knowledge to really get to use all the features and with the ZV-1 I would say that it's great for people that are just starting in photography if you're just starting to learn about you know taking photos or videos i think it's a great place to start because one it doesn't hurt your pocket as much as maybe something that is very professional and it's very easy to use and like mikael said it's great to just try and start somewhere and just experiment with it and yeah that's basically what i've been doing with the zv1 i've been experimenting with shots with angles with compositions and even with the features it's something that I've been trying every single day all right now we move on to the next so this is what Mikael was talking about kanina yung high frame rate and what I love here is that it's actually part of the mode so if I open up my ZV-1 right now and I press mode at the top HFR or high frame rate is parang yun yung slow mo mode in the ZV1 and you don't again you don't have to worry about you know the frame is a setting mo like you'll do it manually everything is already there for you so that you can get a slow mo video already at your hands so i'm going to show you guys the video that i took of soba and we were just playing around with her and giving her treats And what I loved about the high frame rate was that it captured moments that sometimes you would take for granted, like Soba being super happy or her making that extra flip around. Or even this one, oh, takam na takam siya dun sa food that we had hanging at the top. So it's pretty cool to see uh, a very intimate moment with your pets because We see them every single day and we're so used to them just playing around, being very uh, hyper or happy. But it's really cool to see them in their element and you can really capture the, I would say, it's kind of like, it's kind of like slow-mo, right? It adds an extra layer. uh, uh, Slow-mo shots, when you preview them, it's added drama. Yes. Because you experience a moment in a perspective not your own. Because eh. Shepard, we do, our eyes don't perceive things in slow mo. Yeah. So when we see something in slow mo and we see all the nuances of an action shot, mas my feels talaga siya. Uh-huh. And I, I I can attest to that given that I've edited so many of our slow mo <laughs> shots. Iba talaga. So that's something that you can replicate for yourselves also with the HFR mode. So if I remember correctly, um. The ZV-1 has 240 frames per second at HD resolution, Mm -hmm. but it can also go up higher than that at sub-HD resolution. Just for the geeks out there, just like putting that out there. Popo will be here to put in the technicalities there, but hashtag sana all kasi cute ng pet pag naka-slow-mo because ewan ko na lang pag ako yung kinuhanan nyo ng slow-mo. Pag kinuhanan ko si Bones ng slow-mo habang kumakain na po. Sobrang meme siguro. Uh, Pupunta yung Miss World dito sa kukunin yung corona niya. <laughs> wala na tapos na ang laban wala na talaga pero buti na lang ang pinag-uusapan natin dito ay ang mga pets natin and for sure our pets will be super duper cute in slow mo all right and i think 
the one thing that when it comes to videos is the story that you tell because we can take so many videos of our pets and they'll all look cute pero san ba napupunta ang story natin so in this last part of the workshop today, I want to share with you how we tell our stories because you can only take so many cute close-ups of your fur baby, right? And the stories that we tell can be as simple as their first meal for the day, uh, the first walk that they take in the morning, how you give them treats when they're being a good girl or a good boy. So when we tell our stories, we always start with an introduction. And an example would be maybe Soba waking us up in the morning. Soba loves to wake us up in the morning with little kisses. And then I'll go on to describe that and show Soba in a video, stretching herself probably, and we'll just describe the moments that we have with her. The next thing when telling a story is to be real about it because it's not always going to be glamorous. It's not always going to be a perfect moment or a perfect moment. <laughs> I just had to, sorry. <laughs> so be real about it because when it comes to our loved ones, especially our pets, there are going to be so many bloopers. Probably them not being able to catch that treat is such a funny, but it's such a real moment that we love having to share. And of course, end the video or end your story with something that can leave people wondering. It could be a learning moment for the people that watch your videos, but basically end it with a trail of thought, I would say. All right. Okay, that. so the next thing that I want to share with you guys is a video that I put together using the ZV-1. And I'm going to do a little VO, an example of how we do our storytelling. So basically what Mikael and I do is we take a bunch of videos and we already kind of have a story in mind. Like I mentioned earlier, it could be simple things throughout your day. It could be just making breakfast or whatnot. But we want to make sure that we capture little details. And by doing that, we sorry, so is like flop sided right now. So by doing that, we take one wide shot of the moment and then we take two detail shots para at this mas maging intimate yung vibe. And you can really be there in the moment with us. And that's something that we really want for our videos is to make you feel na, okay, nandito ka lang sa tabi namin or you're also experiencing this view with us. So here's the video that I put together about Saba. I'd like you to meet Soba, or also known as Soba Doba in the family. If I'm going to be honest, initially, I did not want a dog, and it wasn't because I didn't like dogs, but it was more of a, I didn't know if I could take care of one. But there's something very interesting about her. She does not bark, and you never know when she is just going to pop up right beside you or ask you for a belly rub. But one of the things we like doing is sitting on the balcony during the sunset. But since there was no light eventually, we decided to continue our playtime inside. Soba loves this little ball. It's also one of the things that she does not destroy. So aside from her pet snake, ito yung isa sa pinaka favorite niya. So when I grab that ball and I put it up, one, two, three, she gets so excited and she knows that playtime is going to start. And although I'd love to bring her outside for walks, syempre may risk pa rin yan para sa atin lahat. So we decided to start training Soba as an indoor dog. I don't think she has any complaints though. Parang excited naman siya. And it's been more than a year since Soba has been part of our family. But what I've come to realize now is that Fofo and I weren't just taking care of Soba. I think Soba was actually also taking care of us during these times. Thanks for the love, Soba. Look at that tail. Oh! <laughs> and that is my video about Soba. I hope you guys like this little story that I had to tell about her and the journey that she has really taken on with us during this year. So I'm sure all the fur parents out there or the paw parents out there have different stories to tell about their journeys with your pets. And honestly, I would really love to see the videos that you guys come up with. And I hope you guys can tag 
me, Mikael, or even Sobadoba, so that we can see the different stories that you guys have to share with your pets and the love and the light that they've brought into your lives, just as much as Soba has brought light into our lives. All right, good job, bunnies. Yeah. Thanks, what Soba. Are- Soba's awake. Oh, man. All right, so sorry, sorry, Kendra. I have one more thing to add because earlier I told. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Um, Earlier I asked everybody to download the app of Sony, which is called the Imaging Edge mobile app. So it's very easy to transfer your photos or your videos from your ZV1 to your phone. All you have to do is to turn on your camera and there's. I'm going to do the settings along with you guys. So when you open up your camera, you press menu. And from menu, you'll see network one. Ah, Can we show the video para at least they can go on that journey with us? There you go. So you go to menu and you press network one and then you initially send press send to smartphone. Once that happens, a QR code will pop up and then you will open your app on your phone and scan that QR code. Once you do that, you'll be able to connect via Wi-Fi uh, to your camera. And from there, you'll be able to select the photos that you want to put on your phone. And in a second, Nanjanayan, ready for upload on your pet's Instagram or even your personal Instagram. And <laughs> yes, these are the photos that I took uh, earlier today of Salva and our A7C. Or I think I have the ZV-1 also in these photos. So it's just as simple as that to connect your smartphone to your camera. So that's where I am ending our easy tutorial today on how to take videos of your pets. And hopefully you guys learned a thing or two from Fofo and I. And na excited kayo sa cuteness ni Soba. Thank you, Soba, for offering this extra cuteness to our workshop today. I was doing the same thing. <laughs> but but thank you guys for encouraging us to tell our stories. I think what what got me the sa uh, what Megan was sharing earlier is that we it could be as simple as you know taking videos of your pets eating breakfast, mm-hmm. ba? Because it's really storytelling, anaman. Now that I think of it, some this this particular scene may not seem special to to some people, but it is special. To to you, the ba? So, uh, so thank you for encouraging us to capture these moments. We really appreciate it. Yeah. And as well as someone actually wants to say that my little brother Jay the poodle also loves his Kong balls from Bao and Rao just like you, cutie soba. Ho <laughs> 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 soba, are you listening, baby? <laughs> Nako, she's busy, <laughs> busy sha. Ayan, takalambing kay fofo. Busy. Oh, it's okay, baby. And you know, for all our viewers out there, there is actually something that Nigel would like to share with us. Just some reminders, especially for you, Nigel. Yes. Uh, don't forget that we have promos. Nigel, sorry, you're on mute. Thank oh. you. Hello, my sound mic test. Sound I'm mic. I'm on mute on the platform, but not on the broadcast. Okay. Oh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, we mentioned two cameras today. First is, of course, the Alpha 7C that Mikael loves here, the camera. And, of course, we have the, the ZV-1 right here that uh, Megan uses. And we have an exclusive uh, promo for those who are watching tonight. So, if you uh, use your phone and do a use your phone shot and do of, a uh, this one shot. Uh, uh, this this one, is your exclusive promo. Uh, all this is your exclusive promo. Is all you to have show to it do on all is to show it on all dealers. So sorry, Sony authorized dealers. So sorry, there's a little our, bit of pickup on uh, our uh, presentation. But let me see right here. Okay, okay. The have uh, a screenshot of the promo, uh, the Sony Alpha Seven C promo, and then show it on all Sony authorized dealers. Nationwide, you can hear my boss is really hungry. Okay, he wants to eat already. <laughs> yep, yep, I can hear my boss. 
Yep, later on he'll just pass by here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the, the Alpha 7C promo, 10,000 pesos off, and you get this exclusive freebies. The ever reliable vertical grip that Mikael loves. And of course, some treats from Bao. And wow, and also we have this promo for the ZV1. 3,000 pesos off uh, from uh, today until the end of April. Now, of course, we, we understand that it's still pandemic. So if you can't screenshot this and you're still, you know, having second thoughts on going physical online, uh, sorry, physical on store, uh, you can wait for Sony Philippines uh, email. Yeah, I know you joined the raffle. They're extracting now for the winners. So just wait for Sony's official email. And then all you have to do is use the voucher code for your uh, purchase of either the ZV-1 and the Alpha 7C. So those are the two promos that we have, especially for this workshop, the Alpha 7C and the ZV-1 that we really love and we use for picture-perfect photography moments. The, the triple P we are talking about. So many terms tonight. <laughs> So it means they just have, if if they're going to a physical store, they just have to have that screenshot and it'll be honored. Yes. Right? Nice. Wow, yes. amazing. And for those who will be purchasing online, then if you registered using the registration link for the raffle earlier, then you get to have vouchers as well. Yes, right? yes. Uh, okay. Sony will send vouchers on the emails, regi registered yes. emails on the okay. raffle. It's so Hindi na focus si Nigel kasi yung it's boss niya, boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. na siya ng boss niya. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, hey. I, I'm, I'm turning my mute on and off every time like he does this. <laughs> yeah, it's like rubbing everything now. It, Nigel. You don't have to say sorry. We've all been there, right? So, okay. Now, you guys. One of the things you are looking forward to, I'm sure, is to find out who the winners are, right? And later on, we will get to announce them after the question and answer portion. So I know during the during the whole discussion with our speakers today, you have like things that you want to ask to them. And I saw one earlier. Someone is asking um, how to take portraits of a family uh, with them and like two pets. Someone was asking that earlier. Maybe we can start with that. But before I let you guys answer, I just want to encourage everyone to keep posting their uh, their questions right now because we will be having them. And just be while I have all your attention, I just want to also let you know that there is something happening on May, very special day for pet parents like us to celebrate the love between you and your pets, you join Sony's 5 5 Pography Day on May 5. Take a day to show your affection to your fur babies and take stunning photos and videos together with them. Watch out for more details about 5 5 Pography Day on Sony Philippines' Facebook page. Face May is like next week already, you guys. So watch out for this and it's happening really next next week rather because may one saturday for that <laughs> but thank you so much guys for uh for this day because sony really supports this uh this whole campaign with us and they've been with us um uh throughout this whole workshop and watching and reading all your comments so just keep them coming also the winners are already available with me and just to let you know guys the prizes that were showed earlier, they will get to ship them straight to your door. So watch out and find out if you guys want later on. I'm sure you guys are so excited. Uh, now we want to accommodate some questions. Are you guys ready to answer some of them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do this. <laughs> Okay, maybe we can answer the first question that was asked earlier. Who wants to answer how to, like, tips on how to take a picture for a family, a family of maybe two to three pets? Plus, okay, go me, Angel. Um, Teacher, teacher. <laughs> um, I think when it comes to taking a family portrait with your pets, what has worked for us 
kung kasama kami sa photo is that you set the photo i mean the camera already on a tripod or you have somebody ready to take the photo and then all the humans are already in place and the people that were are going to be holding the pets go into the picture last sit down and start taking pictures because you only have a couple of seconds to take really nice photos with your pets especially if you have cats and i can be a Uh, I'm also a cat mom because Salem does not like being held for some reason. Para may mga moments lang siya na gusto niya na nakahawak ka sa kanya. So yes, definitely first couple of seconds and then that's it. Whatever you have, just work with it. <laughs> In our experience, that's how it works. Same experience. I, thank you, Megan. I think Tracy was the one who asked, who asked that question. So, Tracy, I hope that helps you. And me, of course, I'll try that also. <laughs> Do you have anything to to say to this also? Yes. Um, uh, actually, I would just I, want to pick up... Oh, uh, Nigel, you're on the... mute. Sorry. Or you support Megan. <laughs> I support I Megan's. Uh, I, I'm not really on mute. On you know, I, I'm more. I'm working on on two audio sources because my boss is really is right here right now, and you can hear me. <laughs> and you can hear him. He just wanna okay, stop what you're doing. He's about to get up on the table right now. It's not, all right, there he goes. Anyway, I just wanna pick up with what Megan said. You only have a couple of seconds, especially with cats. See, see, he just wants to do everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's a boss, but every year, every Christmas, we have this, you know, um, family picture, and we only have like five seconds with them. And yes. the most important lesson is, you know, have your camera ready. So make sure it's turned on. It's on a tripod or something. If you are using a Sony camera, of course, you can access your smartphone. Oh, your Sony camera through a smartphone control with smartphone. So you can just, you know, press the shutter button and then you have your uh, photos taken. And then, of course, um, have patience. Uh, you may not get it today. Maybe tomorrow. Try again. As Coach Francis says, have, yeah. have patience. Kendra. Agree, agree. Thank you so much, guys. I we have another question from the comments section. How to do a how to shoot? <laughs> The cat. The shoot. <laughs> Grabe okay. na the terms, ah. Grabe na talaga. Grabe. Hands down sa mga, ano natin, sa mga puns natin tonight. Anyone who wants to get that? Oh, I... I have Soba. Soba's not a cat, unfortunately. Bonizi, <laughs> do you have ideas? Well, I think it depends on the pet because our pets all have different moods. Some are a bit more masungit, probably like Salem. Some are a bit more go with the flow, parang si Soba. So I think just adjust to how your pet is. And although there, you know, it's really cool to have an official photo shoot for your pet in a studio. But since we're at home, what I can suggest is maybe putting your pet by a blank wall and then putting in some light like uso na ngayon yung mga parang RGB lights diba you can easily buy a really cheap uh, colored light or light bulb and that will already add you know some oomph or some spaz to your photo so try out different things I mean even just a desk lamp is also life changing when it comes to a photo Thank you, Megan. We'll try that. Via, let's try that. Okay, thank you for your question as well. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else who has a question, just comment them in the comments box. Thank you so much for all the questions that already came in. You know, one of the, while well, they are still thinking of questions that they want to ask, my six-year-old cousin was asking, why is it still daytime in my place? so <laughs> 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 And he's joining us. They're joining us all the way from Mindanao. And uh, one of the things we wanted to learn also is from uh, how, aside from taking good photos, is that what they can get for their newly adopted dog. So, and even if you guys, just for the benefit of anyone outside Metro Manila as well, like my cousins, um, you, the shipping for the Bow and Wow shop that we were uh, telling you guys earlier is actually nationwide. So if you guys are interested from wherever you are in the Philippines, they can ship to you. So that's not something you could you need to worry about. So just head on to, uh, to their 
to their website and pick what you want to get, but any all natural um, thing that you want for your pets are all available in there. So that's shop.bowandwow.com.ph. There you go. Thank you, Nige. Okay. So just to put it out there, cause I just realized my cousins are from from Mindanao, and they might be thinking, okay, now I, now at the end, how do I get these things into my doorstep? <laughs> so now there you go. And is there anyone else here from outside Metro Manila? I'm just wondering. Me, I'm here in Pampanga. Really? Oh, wow. Yes, I'm here oh. in Pampanga. Okay, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, so nice. Here. <laughs> just here. <laughs> And we, we, we order um, some of our, uh, you know, treats and, you know, cat litter and um, the food online. So, and then it's it's delivered here. So, you know, still, we're still wary about, of course, what's what's happening. And we, we result into online. And, and uh, we're, we're happy that the Bawe now delivers nationwide. And that's that's very important. Safety is our number one yes. priority. Ang dami ng options ngayon to buy things like uh, kanina even we, when you were saying if they cannot go to a store for uh and to a Sony store rather they can actually purchase online and still avail of the vouchers because it will be sent to them through email so that's really mm-hmm. nice also to have options because you know um somewhat Jerome said sorry I just read something Jerome said they are from Kainta hello people from Kainta. <laughs> Yeah, shout out to to all uh, people that uh, who are outside Metro Manila, like me yeah. in Pampanga, and we wish that everyone is safe and yeah. having a great po party. Po party? What was that Megan? Po party. Po party. Po party. Po party. Po party. Po party. <laughs> and even yung raffle, ah, I, we mentioned earlier the raffle is nationwide as well. So if there, if you are outside Manila and you get to win later, it's fine. Our social Team, uh, our, our social media team will be reaching out to you to know how to claim your prizes. So just watch out for that. And again, right after the question and answer portion, I think we can we can accommodate uh, two or two yep, questions. Two, yep, yep, yep. Actually, we have question. a question here, Kendra, from uh, okay. See Me Now. Um, what to do if my cats are camera shy? Are there any specific tricks you're currently uh, trying to teach a pet? Okay, I'll answer first because I sometimes use them. Uh, as subjects because it's a requirement as you know a, a part of the sony family and so we need a uh, pet photo so i don't have a choice but you know to shoot the, the boss okay um i i i'm i'm happy that uh, he knows clicker the clicker so when when, when we, i do the clicker he learns how to sit and then he waits for the treat and then th- that's the moment where uh, we start clicking but if you have like 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 kittens we, we sorry we, we call them a little terrorists because they're like <laughs> <laughs> anyway um to to answer uh, see me now um the cats are not really camera shy they're actually you know they just they just don't care so you have to adjust to them you have to fully know your cat yeah. your, your pet and know the time sometimes know the time where he rests what time he rests mm-hmm. usually after eating you know and those uh unguarded moments and like mine, he likes to, likes he just likes the sun in front of his face. So mm-hmm. I know what time is it? Uh, what time does the sun hits the room, which is normally morning, and then and uh, in the afternoon. So you know, knowing your pets, I think that's that's a good trick. Uh, Megan. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I have something. So from the least cat person here, <laughs> because I've never I, I've never had a pet cat like for myself. So I've always had dogs at home and then I have Saba here now and Salem is uh, the king of his own kingdom somewhere <laughs> in this condo. Uh, so I, I can suggest something. So if I had to shoot a cat, if I had to shoot Salem, I would actually do two things. I would try out two things. Uh, one is I would use a uh, I, I would use a lens that I could take a photo of Salem from afar. Mm-hmm. So maybe an 85, maybe even 200 if your house is humongous. Um, <laughs> But I would I would do that just so that I wouldn't invade Salem space because it seems like at least from Salem my experience with Salem once you enter a certain personal space they mm-hmm. get a bit more aware and a bit more antsy especially if you're pointing something at them like a camera mm-hmm. so that's something I would do and it would, you would get interesting shots I would probably have to lie down on the floor parang naka sniper ako dun sa uh. Okay, Salem, but I think that would have some interesting shots. Uh, another thing I would do if there's a parang a place in the house where 
the cat likes to rest. Uh, I would like doing a time uh, time lapse. I think TikTok has uh, brought about so many different ideas and ways that you can shoot your pets. Mm-hmm. Uh, so time lapsing your pet or your cat specifically and how they interact or how they even sleep over a, sh- a long period of time. Those slow movements will add up into something that could be dramatic, could be funny, yeah. or just could be amusing for all the parents out there. Mikael, I really like what you said because I- I'm doing it sniper mode. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't move. Don't move. <laughs> 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 yes, yes. And you know, for for some reason, this is, this is what I don't know. For some reason, kapag you have a high pitched voice, parang mas lalo silang attentive. Yes, that's why they're so. Uh, they get so attentive to that. Me 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 yeah, so, so. Ano sila, they get so attentive and their eyes just go bigger. And when it comes to the sound, also I've I've noticed what catches Salem's attention is if you have like a container with snacks in it and you shake it, it's as if you're telling him, "Wait, I have food." So parang <laughs> it just grabs his attention even more. At dun lumalaki yung eyes nila, which I think is so beautiful to capture in photos as well. Hmm. Right, so I think Mikael and I will talk. We're, we're gonna do a video. It's called Sniper. Sniper <laughs> mode with the cat. Sniper mode. Full gear. Yeah. Cats lang pala yung kinukuhanan. Okay, sorry, sorry guys. We're just having fun here because. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, it's so fun. So maybe we can accommodate one more question. So oh, Kendra, uh, sorry. Yeah. Th- uh, it was uh, affirmed by Dog Coach Francis. True, cats love high pitched voice. Ooh. You learn from the expert. Insights. Okay, so hindi pala mag work sa akin yung lalakihan ko yung bosses ko dito. Dapat ganun ka taas yung bosses mo, no? Okay, we have another question. Coming from Lucky Coco. Hey, Lucky Coco. What do you think is the best time to take photos of them outside using natural light? Ooh. Well, for us, it's so beautiful on the balcony sa condo namin pag sunset. Because, you know, when the sun sets here in this area, iba-iba yung colors ng sky for some reason. Reason. Like before, we wouldn't have this type of view or this type of sunset in our previous place. But now, we look forward to having these colors in the background. So sunset is definitely our favorite for us. And definitely, it's a time na, like I said kanina, the sun will shine on specific spots on Solba's face, but it also gives it good shadows. So hindi flat yung itsura niya dahil sa natural sunset light. Okay, I like that. Uh, but I, I'm going to take a two-step approach to answering this question because I think uh, when you say what, for you, it's an opinion, what, it's, a, it's subjective. What is the best time for you to take photos yeah. of your pet? For other um, uh, newbie parents who are just getting into photography, po- uh, mm-hmm. maybe they don't know what their favorite is yet. Ah, yeah. Okay, right. so this is a two-stage, uh, two-step uh, answer for me. So for me personally, I really, really like it when the sunlight is on the side of Soba. So when it's sunset, the, the, the sunlight is a bit more golden and it mixes really well with the hair, with the fur of mm-hmm. Soba. So I like that look. But for those who are trying to discover what kind of look and how they like the light uh, falling onto their pets, here's something that I can suggest. So I know a lot of people like silhouette shots. They have the sun, the background, the sun as the background and the pet as the foreground. And of course, more often than not, your pet will be dark. So take that shot if you think it's interesting. And it's always so beautiful taking these silhouette shots. But here's an exercise. Go to the other side and then take a shot there. So that's always something I would do, something because I would always have to explore and I was not naturally creative. So I would take one shot and I would go to the opposite side where the light is opposite, uh, yeah. oppositely facing 
and it would just give a completely different mood mm-hmm. and that will expose you to different kinds of shots, compositions and lighting and over time you'll develop, oh okay, I really like this angle or this angle or this one. So eventually you will be able to answer that question, what is the best light for me? Yeah, I like that. I like that. You know, it's it's really nice to play around then. You know, the taste, because we're different talaga tayo. Mm-hmm. So, Thanks for encouraging us to do that also, Mikael. And I think that's all That's all there is in the comment section for now, But at least for the question. But there are a lot of people saying hi and hello um, and asking. And someone is even from San Fernando, Pampanga also. Hindi mo ba kapitbahay? Wow! <laughs> Actually, kapitbahay ko lang um, So, hello to Jay, Cookie. Bok, Joarmi, so a lot of them. Thank you, Afi the Buffy, also for sharing and for saying hi to a couple of people. Jerome Mapa also. Hey, you guys. Angela is from Novali. Wow. Hello, guys. Okay. So, thank you. I think that wraps up for the questions, the question and answer portion at least. But we still have one more thing to share with you guys, and those are the winners for tonight. Yay! Yay! Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> but before we let everyone go, we would like to thank everyone for joining us here tonight and to Megan, Mikael, and Nigel, of course, for taking your time and your effort and talent and sharing them to us all tonight. Thank you so much. So with that, we'd like to share the winners for tonight. All right, Ooh, Kendra, are you, are you ready? Are you all ready? Right, so. So what do they get to win, Derek Nigel? Maybe we can share it on the screen. Okay, so the raffle winners, there are a total of 40 entries. So it all drew via random.org. So the prizes again are extra base headphones from Sony and all natural pet treats and toys from Bao. And wow. All right, so the winners are... Entry number 36, Nina Nashanseno. Entry number 1, Jolo Evangelista. Entry number 20, Via Nazarene M. Punzalan. Congratulations. You didn't Woo-hoo! just you didn't just win extra bass headphones. You didn't just win Bow and Wow gift. You win both of them. Wow. Congratulations, you guys. <laughs> And thank you, thank you so much for spending your Saturday night with us. I hope it has been very helpful. I'd like to give the floor quickly to Nigel and Megan and Mikael to say a few things before we say goodbye to everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, just to, I just want to say thank you to everybody who joined us. We're so happy being with the Sony family, to be honest yeah. with you. And more so that the Sony family wants us to talk about Soba, whom we absolutely Yay. love. So we're really excited and we do know for a fact that the pet community and the pography community, Mm -hmm. it's a passionate group of people and animals and pets. And we're just happy to be able to talk to you guys. And we all know a lot of us are indoors. So we hope that you guys enjoy and at the very least learn the thing or two from all of our experiences. Yes, and thank you so much to everybody that took the time to listen to what we had to say today. For us, it's really just about sharing our experiences with other people. And Sana, you were able to pick up something that is useful to your everyday life and, of course, useful to your pography. And, of course, thank you so much to Sony for including us in this workshop. We're really happy to be a part of it. And even though we're the ones speaking, honestly, I'm learning so much, even from my husband, who I'm with every single day, and I learn from all the time. I learned something new. I learned something from Coach Francis the last time, and now I'm learning something from Nigel. So it's a learning process also for me as somebody that isn't as knowledgeable, as as techy as maybe Mikael and Nigel. So thank you to to you guys for teaching beginners like me also. <laughs> Totally agree. Thank you, Megan and Mikael. Nigel, do you have anything to say to our viewers before well, we say I, goodbye to them? I really appreciated the the Sony system right now. I know I use Nige, it. I, you are I on use mute. it uh, for, for Sorry. work. <laughs> no, I, I'm on mute on the platform, but uh, on yeah, broadcast. Yeah. Sorry. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry. Correct. So I'm like, correct. Yep, yep. My, my <laughs> boss here is really, you know, he just wants to get out of the... No, this, yep. He's, he's in prison. But anyway, <laughs> um, 
th this is the moment that I really appreciated the, the Sony System's animal eye autofocus. I was really hesitant this morning, early this morning. Um, how can I take good pet photos? I am not a pet photographer. That's, that's the number one consideration that I have. I know my cats uh, um, are here. I sometimes take photos of them, but dogs outside, malikot. Diba? Parang ang hirap para sa akin. But you know, trusting this system that I use, which is the Alpha 7C and the ZV-1, really helped me a lot. And mas nag-enjoy ako uh, to, to the moments. You know, this is what I'm telling on, on normal workshops uh, uh, for professionals. It's like, your camera must be an extension of yourself. If, if you're enjoying the moment, then the camera should be able to capture that. It should not be a hindrance. Magfo-focus ka pa, focus hunt, sabi nga ni Mikael. You know, but you know, for, for moments like this uh, with our pets, ba? whether, you know, they're on good mood or bad mood, these are moments that we treasure, especially on the time of the pandemic. And if you have a system like this one, wherein it's able to capture those moments flawlessly, and that's a different story. Tapos, of course, meron ka pang pang-treat sa kanila. Diba? So you know, it, it brings the, the relationship closer sa, sa inyo. So those are my uh, two cents. I want to bring JJ or Jay. <laughs> anyway, Kendra, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to bring him here. Well, thank you so much, everyone. And to all our viewers tonight, this has been Sony and Bao and Wow's Lifestyle Photography Talk. We thank you and we want to wish you a very good night. Enjoy the rest of the weekend, guys. Bye! Bye! Bye, Bye, everyone! Bye. Nice to see you! Bye!